actual how it spells. It says have advantage yeah. all on saving throws against spells and other Hello, magical Twitch. effects. Yep. Okay. Colin, how are you doing like, today? Essentially, while you're holding it out and it's drawn, that effect is up there, yeah. So if I held it out and cast Shatter upon myself... You would have advantage on the saving throw against it. Wow. <laughs> so I can pick even, I can pick even less damage is. from my own attack. I have yep. no idea what is happening, but okay. Just talking about how items function with her uh, playing style. Uh, May I okay. have the fire tower potion? <laughs> Would you like me to set that up for you? Mm hmm. All right. Give me about five minutes here to make that up for you. I have Take one. your time. I have one. Also, what? Vale. what? Uh, I am doing good. <laughs> ah, okay. That's good to hear. E. I, I wonder uh, what Ziet has found it. in the shop. Oh, I found also something very nice. I'll tell you when we begin. <laughs> something very useful. Slightly bloody, but useful. Don't ask me where the blood came from. Xenophy right. is going to suspect something. <laughs> uh, so now let me link to everyone who might be interested. Da, 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 da. How was everyone's week so far without exposing exposing themselves too much privately on stream? Mm -hmm. Same as every week. I'm one of the most boring people you've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing really goes much goes on. I'm in a small town. Yeah. The small towns, really not a whole lot goes on. Especially if you can't drive. <laughs> oh no, now you have to drive your legs. <laughs> I swear, if I go anywhere outside Hi, of my town, if I walk outside of my town, my grandma will come back from the dead. <laughs> yes. What? Okay. The granny, Basically, the granny. If I if I, if I uh, try to walk like over to my dad's and my aunt and something thing like outside of our town, mm -hmm. my grandma will come back and get my ass <laughs> from the dead. <laughs> my oh, grandma's no. been been gone since 2018, but yeah. So. In fact, I think my <laughs> aunt would kick my ass and so would my dad. Oh, no. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> what a nice family. Well, it's for safety oh. reasons. Uh. It's about, let's say, about 15 miles from here to my dad's house. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, yeah. No, oh, no. It would take Wait. me almost all day to walk that. Was 15 miles larger or uh, smaller than 15. one kilometer? Okay. What are you, kilometer? What the fuck is kilometer? <laughs> kilometer? The normal <laughs> standard things everyone else we uses literally. We don't have that shit in America. You have freedom <laughs> units. Dick sized and whatnot. That's a little over Two coffee pots per <laughs> arm. That's what you have. I think mild. Mild is easier. I can't do a kilometer. I don't know. I don't understand <laughs> hey, hey, kilometer. Yeah. No, kilometer Ravale. is easier. Ravale. Guess what? That's a little over 24 kilometers away. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> if I would be a hiking and long walk walking German, I would say that's nothing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite the little foot walk, if I may say so. Yeah, and that's 
You nah, becoming like a traveler if you do it. <laughs> you become the traveler. Not taking a break. That's just. Um, uh, I have yeah. the song in my head, but I don't remember the lyrics. Well, I'm a wonder what to do. Like do, the do, distances do. in in our states is innumerable when it comes to like distances. <laughs> well, I'm a wonder, 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 wonder. <laughs> Whatever the follow like team was, I don't uh, remember. There it is. We have a we literally have a state that is about half the size of the whole United States. Mm, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, every time I think about it, I'm like, you know, how long it take me to get out of state? It takes okay. me like six hours. If we're driving, September but if it's like over. walking, it takes me a full day <laughs> to get out of the day to walk. Is it just me or is your mic today louder? Who's mm, hey, yours, Colin? Yes. Oh. What do you mean? I mean, it seems a I, little better. I mean to hear you clearer now. It's, it know, might. Uh, it might be because uh, I got a new microphone, Ahwai. Oh, you know, happy Ahwai. birthday! That makes sense. <laughs> it's either that or it's, uh, I don't know, I'll probably tweak it a little bit I'm on some stuff. You sound so wonderful. I'm pulling at my dad. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> okay. Hold, I don't know how to handle a compliment, okay? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I remember your birthday yeah, stream. Okay. Yeah, oh, the yeah. kudos. I remember. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it was so wholesome. Everyone give Colin head pats. <laughs> yes. Uh, no. uh, oh. Colin. Uh, yeah. no. Hold on. Give them head pats. <laughs> head pats for Colin. <laughs> I already did enough in my kudo board for Colin. And I'll take all the boops. I'm over here like, I don't know how to handle compliments. So I use my default response is pointing out a knife or say, fuck you. <laughs> oh. Shut up. <laughs> and they got stepped, but I take it as a compliment. He doesn't know better. Ouch! Oh, ouch! Sorry. Ouch! Oh, <laughs> ouch! My liver! Oh, you're there welcome. You ouch! Oh, I believe that's how Valis is too. Valis also don't know how to handle compliment sometimes. Alright, save that. Oh, okay. Apropos Valus, I have something for him finally. <laughs> oh, it's for own. It's, it's for your own. What? Is it Kai? Do you find Kai? I don't know <laughs> yet about Kari missing, by the way. Wow. In game. Uh, <laughs> but, but I got something for Valos and for his own safety, I swear. Oh no. His oh, don't... own safety. <laughs> yes. <I fear> safety. <laughs> I'm afraid of safety. The word safety, there's never gonna be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Valos completely safe. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Violet safe? No, he just put himself to danger. <laughs> I'll like, explain well, later. To, to keep Violet <laughs> safe, we'll have to keep uh, Alicia. <laughs> just ask him, be... Valo, uh, Colin, what <laughs> That's is your not strength? not made out of wood or anything. It has to be made out of something that can resist fire. Uh, Valo, what is your strength level again? My strength level, uh, very shit. <laughs> don't worry, so then. Don't worry, it will hold. Uh, <laughs> my strength is 10. I'm weak. So, are we waiting for Zeus, or do we begin? Yes. Okay, uh, he do it. Is, okay, good. Hold on, he is at, at the, uh, outside his brother's work. Um... Yeah, eventually not he making not it on make time. It today. He's currently like waiting outside. He's supposed to check out clock over an hour ago, but someone called out and he has to wait until a replacement shows up, which is kind of stupid because, you know. Yeah. Oh, my We expect it, you know, all. supposed to get out. So, someone's supposed to be in there and they should have the replacement in there an hour ago. 
Okay, then let's do some history for Colin. Uh, what happened last time? Sure. Uh, Colin, while you went and knocked yourself out in the carriage again to sleep, uh, we acquired, we saw to happen to uh, more or less plant. <laughs> uh, it has acquired a new real estate. Mm -hmm. uh, don't question what, what happened don't worry uh, everyone is fine don't worry uh, <laughs> everyone uh, of importance is alive and well don't worry yes uh, we are now the proud owners I, of... I feel like I should be worried to be honest the moment you can say that I feel like I should it be it has worried. something to do with me but don't worry no one is dead well, Barry, yet. what do you do I okay, did nothing okay. We, we, got, we are now the proud owners of uh, the local shop. Don't ask me yeah. how, just God, take it. God, God, what the fuck happened? <laughs> okay, okay. Are you uh, praying now? Did I make you religious? Happened. I made him believe. Let me, listen, I want to hear it from Shadow. Okay. Ravale gave the shop owner two vials of, uh, vials or bottles of holy water. Oh, oh, so oh, when we oh. left and this character came up to it, he saw the carriage go off, get loaded up and go off. Uh -huh. They basically left the building. <laughs> oh, basically, Ravala gave the shopkeep a get the hell out of here card for free. <laughs> Two Almost. for him and someone Two. else, apparently. <laughs> but who oh, is laughing fine. now? We got the shop. <laughs> well, there we go. I can find them, by the way. Valid. In a, in a radius yeah. of one mile. Sorry to interrupt you here, but would you kindly go into your inventory and describe mm -hmm. what has now been created from your brooch and earrings? Well, the pair of brooches and earrings. Mm hmm. So, I got this shit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want me to read this description of a new item? Yes. That combined? Okay. These aliens seemingly flicker with faint, faint orange light as if a constant fire is not moving to or for within its dim. Add 1d6 fire damage to spell with that fire damage like conditional burning damage. Burning a target is lit on fire either automatically or magically. Uh, they must either do themselves or spend half their movement to stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> oh, wow. Fire base is a misty step 20 feet radius from teleport point. Dex save from third DC 46 fire damage upon damage for plus 1d4 burning condition. Half upon save success and no burning condition. Essentially, these enable Valis to turn himself into a mini fireball. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. All I remembered was he now does 1d6 fire damage. But yes, the uh, ring, well, pair of earrings now called Kothasai essentially give him a fire based misty step. So anywhere he teleports to in a 20 foot radius, they have to make a deck save. But it is a tiny, tiny wow. fireball. It's valley shaped. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> are you telling me Vados is currently way, wearing a lot of bling bling as uh, the earrings, the brooch, and the arm wrist thingies? Nope, just the earrings now. Essentially, that was five magical items combined, considering it's two earrings, a brooch, and a pair of lapel cuffs, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. The only thing I need to fix is the fact that it says 1d4 damage in the last part of the description. It's supposed mm -hmm. to be the 1d6 as according to your name uh, fire damage. Because okay. I will admit, it is leaning heavily on your draconic origin. <laughs> Are you a dragon? There we go. I shall save that. I mean, I don't know. I don't even remember if you introduced yourself as partially draconic. <laughs> 
<laughs> nope. None of you have really had time to introduce yourselves to each other. I mean, mm. we met on a carriage. Yes. Well, I woke up from a carriage. <laughs> I woke up from a carriage. Twice, I know. I know. But, but you, it was my you carriage. You kind of know from your last campaign. You barely know me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, I barely know Kiki. I barely know you. There you yeah, go. Yeah, Kiki's gone. Yeah, Kiki gone. <gasps> oh no! What happened? <laughs> So do we begin, begin, or...? It is up to you. The map is up. Your carriage is at the little town of Barovia. Rivali has the map, if you want to link those to everybody. Yeah, I was just going to mention it. Access to that. Uh, I searched through the mansion, and uh, then the shop, because I didn't find anything inside the mansion, uh, and I found the map. Uh, it is slightly... Bloody, don't ask me why. I don't know either. <laughs> uh, I swear it was me. I found it. Really, I did. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, wait, can I? Well, I mean, it's, I have it open on stream, but I can send it uh, into the thingy if you want to. Uh, I have if further details, to... which you Discord? won't. Yes. Uh, I have further details, which you won't have. And uh, one moment, let me. How do I bring that up from here to there? Ah, copy paste. I know. The power of. But power of editing. Yes. Uh, let's copy it. And then oh seven K said something. Ah, enjoy. Yes, yeah, thank you. Uh, that that that. Wait, that's my server. Wait, where are you? Uh, boop. This is a map I found. You can see it on stream, you can see it in Discord for everyone who is not watching on stream. Uh, this is a map I found. And um, I also have a second map for myself to read uh, how long more or less we will take, uh, which I won't show for immersive reasons. And uh, I'm just showing it to the party. To you, Valos, good morning, by the way. Uh, to Kari, Mina, uh, Kiki, and Diaz. No, Sarit? Sarit? Sarit. Wherever he is again. And, uh... Nobody knows. <laughs> and did you just say Mina? Uh, Mina, sorry. Xanaf, yeah, <laughs> Kiki. <laughs> and... All you see in the mist is a tiny fairy giving you two middle fingers and fade away. Actually, she would have. Well, that would have been the mist itself, not. What not the not. hell? <laughs> Mina wouldn't do that. But the mist. Exactly. The mist you when you say, Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry, Xanafia. <laughs> Mina. Xanafia. I'm still praying for her soul. She's fine. So you think. Yeah, what he thinks, I should you, say. <laughs> I know, I only ones who know me. Know. I think she's lost, like in, in lost with the There's mist. There's only two people who really know her fate. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay, yeah. So uh, here we have the map. We are currently in Barovia, the city in the land of Barovia, and. Uh, we more or less have, on the other hand, one option, and on the other hand, we have a problem. I mean, that's good and bad. We have only one way to go. Uh -huh. uh, but the same way leads cl more or less closer to the castle, which might be dangerous, but we simply don't know, and we have only one road. We can't just traverse through... I don't know, around the mountains. Uh, so yeah, we have one way, one uh, shortcut that may or may not take uh, a few hours less. Uh, goes, oops, uh, goes uh, towards the river. Uh, it's called Zerpool. Do yep. you see it, people? Yeah. Yes, uh, 
And uh, we have to go west, west. Yeah, we, we go west and then we have uh, an option to take a long road through the forest, which might be more dangerous and longer. Uh, I suppose around eight hours. And then uh, we have a shortcut uh, towards the river, which has some icon. Uh, besides the Tsar pool, pool, as you can see, it looks like, I don't know, a tent. Maybe it's the camp. I don't know. Uh, that may or may not lead, uh, take only three hours of traveling time. And um, then we have to cross the river across the bridge anyway. And then uh, we approach a lock. That is a gate. Yes. Uh, which was very curious, but then I noticed on the east side to where we came from is another lock, and therefore I figured uh, it might be the gate. But then I noticed, oh, it's a gate. And then I thought, can we even pass the gate? I mean, it's the only way. So, I don't know how much exactly Strat has control over everything here, but the last gate uh, he opened apparently for us to enter. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he will let us through, maybe not. If not, by the way, good morning. Uh, uh, what's your name? Uh, Pietrock and Leandria. Oh, give me one sec here. And boop. I'll set you all back to the church for now, at least. Why are you uh, doing yes. this? Uh, Patrick and Koyata. For Patrick now. and Koyata. Yes. Um, <clears throat> um, oh. uh, yeah, good morning, you two. Uh, we may or may not get through the gate, depending on what Strat has for us. But if we should, uh, we definitely should go through the gate, not towards the castle. Uh, we will not speedrun this game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then I found something very interesting. Uh, you guys found some owning papers uh, from the destroyed building and uh, a mill, yes? Some basic papers that basically listed whoever holds this paper is the owner of the building. Yes, and a mill. And look at that, I think I found the mill on the map. If you can see yep. it, somewhere in the uh, um, roughly in the middle of the map, there is a mill. So if you want people, we can check this out. All right, and uh, the travel between uh, the gate and the mill may or may not also take three hours. I uh, I think. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and then we have to go. Oops. Uh, what the hell? Okay. Uh, one moment. Let me Google a word quickly. Uh. Estimate, yes, I estimate a travel time of roughly uh, three hours. And then from roughly around the mill towards uh, Walaki, underneath uh, Lake Zarovic, uh, I estimate it may take us uh, six to seven hours of travel time. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we can take a stop at Valaki if people wish for or we can directly uh, proceed further by the way underneath Valaki is another tent so I guess it's maybe a little settlement uh, oops so many maps here so confusing uh, <laughs> then I have to switch between three tabs of maps 
One yep. is very naked. He's got one... lots of maps to work with now because he's going to be driving. Yes, Dungeon Master Simulator. Hello, welcome. Let's play. <laughs> uh, that's, because, that's because someone isn't ready to shift their uh, skill to uh, <laughs> land vehicles. <laughs> well, yeah, she I... has a book to finish, mind you. <laughs> you can't exactly, you know, read and pi and drive. You could. I just make you see whether or not you drive off the road. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, no. I mean, come on, it's you. very easy to, <laughs> to see the road, yes? I'm not going to lead you into the forest suddenly. I hope. <laughs> that is Kiki, by the downtown. way. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... None of you know. She got lost somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. Anyway, uh, we'll tell oh, yeah, her afterwards. Four hours of sleep, so, um, but I was just putting a bug, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then, uh, I. <laughs> Do you want any of us to <clears> roll guess... a perception check? <laughs> Go right ahead. What? <laughs> Good, Ravali. <laughs> yes, what? I'll let Anyone. you guys go first with perception. <laughs> Anyone can roll a perception check. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got yeah, an 18. So oh, good. finally a good one. 22. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to be really terrible with my perception check. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What was that? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, ah. I was yeah. There you go. Hey! Also, it's a 12. I thought you have it with D22. With the 22 that Ravale got. Yes. All of you can notice that where Kiki once stood is nothing more than some mist seemingly retreating sluggishly as if it's fed recently. <gasps> Is that uh, at the window again? Yep. <gasps> when did <coughs> when did that <coughs> when did that happen, Kiki? <laughs> the clock. Oh, that happened. It must have happened. It had to happen recently. Oh, this reminds me, Valus, before you do anything stupid and try to touch the fork, what the uh, fuck? <laughs> I got a present for you. Uh, for your own oh. safety. Uh, okay. I got a very long chain for the both of us. Bitte uh -huh. schön. What do you mean for both of us? Click, <laughs> clack. To keep you on a leash, pretty much. It's just yes. on a leash. I'm going but to it's burn a your chain. life. I just uh, put the chain around his waist and my waist. Uh, the chain is Get 30 this feet. off of me right fucking now. <laughs> Don't worry. The chain is 30 feet long, so you have a lot uh, a lot of running around space, <laughs> I guess. I'm uh, and I'm safe from your same. thunder wave. Uh, I could break these cuffs. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, if you want to go um, to the toilet, just tell me. It's not uh, like you're in prison or something. Get this off of me! Get Man's this watching. off of me! Like, uh, it's not wise to keep someone on a leash right now. I'm gonna use... We are talking about Valus, right? You may don't know him, but... You he... do have your uh, new fire step. Yeah, you do realize he could just teleport mm -hmm. out of there? Yeah, I'm going to teleport out of this. Yes! And... <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Boop. Let's see. Where are you going to teleport to on the map here? By... Not inside the wooden uh... church. Say, so we'll all put you into your own little areas here. It cost me six golds! <laughs> I am going to immediately uh, teleport over here. Nice! Nice! The holy water! She had holy water on her! <laughs> I'm just gonna give, uh, you know, a death glare. The most death glare it can get. 
boop. That is essentially the area that is lit up in fire as soon as you stepped and then died down. Ah, oh no, panic, fire, so much is happening. I just realized that Kiki had holy water on her and the wooden <laughs> stake. God damn it. Yeah. I'm losing more before we actually encounter vampires. God damn it, and now the, the floor is on fire. <laughs> And the chain is oh, useless. Just flare up, and now, it's just a flare-up now. And all the area around Valis is now blackened and scorched. But the fire is now gone after its initial burst. Shit! The so chain there's no is things useless. Or things uh, burning down. Unless he wants them to, of course. No, don't you dare. I am going to burn the curse down if you do this one more fucking time, you little <sighs> shit. <laughs> I'm going to go up to Eel. What do you again, want now? And I'm throwing you in a river when we see one. <laughs> what the fish is wrong with you? What is wrong with you keeping someone on a leash? Yeah, he gets ahead of himself. He Does has he no survival it? instincts! But <laughs> uh, of course! Not like he I just turned him into a survival survival instincts. <laughs> But it's for him to learn and find out that do not do some sh shit. Funny <laughs> fun fact, by the way, if he would have had the chain on him last time you entered the building, you could have actually pulled uh, him uh, out uh, of oh, that monster. Uh, <laughs> she grabs. She literally grabs. Is the chain still around Ravali? Yes. Well, he hasn't said that he'd take it off, so oh, yeah. She grabs the chain and yanks it a little. <laughs> Have you no <laughs> idea how <laughs> physics work? Not work when you were out here, and he was with us in that building. How is that chain gonna work? It's. It doesn't have to be on me. It can be on either of us. But <sighs> it seems that you two have a history. <laughs> I'm oh, yeah, worried about him. Too, okay. Right. <laughs> I saw him. Die almost so many times. Let me tell you, it is not wise for you to try to chain someone. Okay? Even if they might not have a common survival sense. And she shoots a look at disapproval towards Valis. Oh, come on. At least I'm trying to do something here to keep him alive. I, uh, <laughs> fun fact, I also did... I fed him a few good babies to raise him again. I'm getting my ashes blast ready to hold out, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Valus, you know it's true. You want to go? You want to fuck around and find out right now why I have this acid on my hand? Hello? Both of you, enough. No. The chin <laughs> is useless, god damn it. <laughs> It's a foot oh, stake. Yeah. <laughs> it's a holy water. It was a lot of gold. <laughs> I mean, I can make it, All but it was a lot of work. All your hard work vampire dwindling before you even hey, do anything. I, honestly, I'm telling you guys, we will lose everything related to vampires before we even met our first. Meet our <laughs> first. Like, God damn it. Okay. Uh, but at least the poultices yeah. have a use. Okay, back to the map, everyone. <sighs> so in Valaki, uh, there's another bridge to the west. It, exactly. It may take us roughly uh, estimated one more hour to get to, if not two hours, and then there is a crossroad. Uh, no, wait, there is no crossroad. Never mind. Wrong map. Uh, we can either go, I mean, why should we, uh, go south, that leads to nowhere? Which is suspicious, maybe it does lead somewhere, I mean, it's a road. And then, uh, further west, uh, besides the forest, uh, there's going to be another bridge. 
by the way, why, why are we saying all this uh, outside and not inside? I mean, you're the one who started talking, so you tell me. I mean, you are the <laughs> one who placed out, out, out outside the church. I mean, that was just for placement purposes. Uh, I, I mean, I, I think we are still inside the shop because we woke up there. Anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, there's going to be the third bridge and the last bridge on the map, it seems. And uh, by the way, there's a winery. As you can see, wait, can you? Yes, you can on the map. There's a winery uh, underneath, uh, Kresk, or Kresk. Is that an E or C? Probably an E, Kresk. Uh, and the river is called Raven River. How lovely! Uh, yeah, and the road from uh, the travel time from the second bridge to the third bridge is going to take roughly four or five hours. Um, maybe six. And then from the third bridge to Kresk, uh, that is the Abbey, I think, um, two or three. All in all, uh, we will arrive there tomorrow. Yep, it's about a 21-hour trip from where you are to Vamaki, and almost yes. 30 hours from where you are all the way to the Abbey. Yes, almost 24 if I calculated it correctly. Yep. Well, I didn't, because uh, the map doesn't show the shortcuts to the wind, uh, forest. Is that our uh, long rest? Nope. So they, so it's going to be even longer. Yep, that's just straight travel time. Yes. So yeah, I would suggest uh, we take maybe to save some time uh, to take the first shortcut after the first sprint, first bridge uh, after Bar Barovia, and uh, we go go uh, we turn towards uh, the river uh, towards Zerpool. And maybe check out what this little settlement is while driving by. Uh, and before we reach... Oh, wait, no, there are four bridges. Never mind. Before we reach uh, the second bridge. What do you guys think? Hmm. I mean, well, I don't think the forest sound, is safe. The shortcut might sound nice, but that might uh, they might also be prepared. There could be an set for an ambush too. Like bandits? Who oh, no. knows? Huh. Either way, there is potential for ambushes, there's potential for mishaps. I mean the same can I mean danger can also happen when we travel just through the forest. Yes. Yes, danger can happen either way. I mean, that way we save some travel time. Well, let's let let's see what Danger Boy has to say about that. <laughs> Valis. Oh, <laughs> you're Danger what Boy. What do you think? Short. <laughs> Short I was zoning out, hello. <laughs> Short cut or no? Huh? You see <laughs> on the map where there's the blue T? Mm hmm. She, they're essentially asking you if you want to take that shorter path or the longer one. Hmm. So if we take the longer one, we take a long rest, basically. Yep. That's an eight hour trip right there. I mean, one of us has to drive. How yeah. long is the shorter one? Three uh, hours. Roughly, yeah, three hours. The longer takes eight, goes through the forest. The shorter one takes eight, goes by the river, basically. And something that could be a settlement. If people are patient. I mean, no one knows. Everyone comes from outside of here. I'm asking, are what? you the type of people to get impatient? 
I am very patient. The type of person that wants to get. I'm not way worried about getting things going to go faster or slower. I mean, I would like to arrive as fast as we can. Our, our, our uh, cleric. Yes, she <laughs> says that with quotations. Hey. Seems to want to take the shorter path because he's a little more antsy. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll take a shorter path then. Okay. Very well. Derrit. Derrit? What do you there say? Are no Don't worry. Wait. Has anyone seen Derrit? Today? He might, be, uh, he might be going ahead of uh, Sunas. I start the looking around for Derrick the same as start. I did for Kiki. The thing is, we best start get going. Either way, we should start going. Do I see Derrick? Uh, I don't know. What's his, what's his stealth roll? Uh, what was it? His stealth roll is yes. Not enough for uh, you to see him. Tell you that much. <laughs> Does anyone remember how he looks like? Make me an intelligence check for that one. Another 15. I mean, he was a lizard in a hood. I think. That's about all you can remember. It's so quiet. It's so, so suspicious. I go for I don't have a. Anyway. Wow. There it's a person. A... So I haven't saw him much. I don't even know what the hell he looks like. <laughs> and you dare to lecture me, pleb? <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh. I'm joking, out of character. For protocol. <laughs> uh, uh, what do Peter and Sinata say? W what is their opinion? They're just ready to head to Velaki or the Abbey. Let's go. Okay. Uh, yeah, do we wanna... I mean... There is still a girl missing, by the She's way. Going, Zana's gonna say... Look at uh, do a let's go. Okay, goodbye, girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there are things much more important than you. Amen. Bless <laughs> you. Amen. Okay. Um, <laughs> do we wanna uh, take a uh, visit uh, to the Abbey? Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. So many words, help me. Uh, to the father, to the church, at the church. The father is buried. Yesterday, was it? Buried, what? No, uh, uh, Donovich, uh, not that father, the other father, the holy father. Donovich. I'm about to start walking. Donovich. Donovich <laughs> I'm about to start walking. <laughs> you <gonna> stay here. <laughs> You're talking about the, uh, fa okay, him. Donovich at the church. I mean, we can ask him for directions. Ask him what that settlement is, or how we pass through the gate, maybe. I don't think he's very occupied with that. Oh, he <laughs> definitely has time, come on. I don't think he's sleeping. We don't have time! <laughs> I mean, I did leave a note. Let's check on the father. Also, what did Derek find? To, She's I am going to... I am um, going to start walking <laughs> at this point. Eel, she's going to grab Eel. It's like, look, we've already passed by the, the father enough. If we do any more, he's going to get in trouble. We need to go now. You can just knock and ask. No, we need to go now. Do, do, do. Let's go. What did David find, by the way, in the shop? 
He'll tell you when he gets back. Yes. God damn it. Let's go. <laughs> Can we take everything with us? No. Especially garlic. No. Let's go. Let's go. She's go- <laughs> At least Let's go. garlic. Come on. She's gonna pull I'm going this. to throw asses at you if you don't hurry the hell up right now. I am in peace and like fucking now. But Donovich. Donovich is fine. I'm going to grab his air and start pulling. Let's <laughs> go. I'm wearing a helmet, but okay. I, I thought you still had your uh, witch hunter hat on. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. No, I was in my vestments. By the way, the vestments yeah. I by now have uh, put off. Uh, vestments, let me do that by the way. Uh, vestments back to my. If she, if she can't pull your hair, she's grabbing you by the. Uh, just, your grab arm by the just grab him by the head. <laughs> Twist his she, dick. She's <laughs> grabbing him anywhere she possibly can to move him along. <laughs> Roll for damage. <laughs> Grab his stick and twist it. Who said that? She's pulling him along. Get on there. Let's go. Now. You're wasting, we're wasting time. Okay, Too okay. Much. It goes into my bag of holdings then. This is me talking out of character, but I want some beef stew right now. <laughs> <laughs> if I could grant that, I would yeah. have some sitting here for me, too. Yeah. Maybe maybe the shop has something. Who knows? <sighs> uh, where are yeah. my ropes? Wait, there they are. Let me put on my ropes. Uh, equipment. Okay. And the witch hunter head. Marvelous. So I'm, I'm good to go. In the carriage. Okay, maybe without the witch hunter head. <laughs> I you know what, just in case someone tries to attack us. Okay, so we are uh, lo- preparing the carriage. Good morning, horses. Uh, oh no. <laughs> ah yeah. Hello. And we'll be setting off to the adventure. Okay. When was the I'm last worried. time you fed Kari? Uh, she's somewhere. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you mean? Don't worry about it. She's somewhere. somewhere. You'll be back. She's what somewhere. do you mean? Hey, she she did that last campaign <laughs> when we uh with Domino. There you go. There you go. You talking and about? Came back. <laughs> she was somewhere and she came back. <laughs> what? She'll be back, don't worry. That's... Okay. Pick her up and let's go. Uh so we are yeah, it's a carriage. Goodbye, city. But I don't know which. I left a letter. He should be fine. You're <laughs> flipping off the city. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, what a nice bridge. No traveling sounds? Oh, wait, you are listening to music in Discord? My bad. <laughs> That's what I got in <laughs> I hope no one is uh, muted, by the way. Couldn't be, no. Okay. I made sure of that. <laughs> Okay, good. So, uh, we arrived at the road cross? Uh, crossroads? It's the crossroads, I think it's called. Uh, now we have to go to the right. right. Yes. Mm-hmm. But as uh, you come up to this crossroads, you see it's not normal. There's an old wooden gallows creaking in a chill wind that blows from the high ground to the west. There's a frayed length of rope dancing from the beam. The road splits here, left and right, as you say, and a signpost opposite the gallows points in three directions. Barovia Village to the east, Sayer Pool to the northwest, and Ravenloft slash Volaki to the southwest. The northwest fork slants down and disappears into the trees, while the southwest fork clings to an upward slope. Across from the gallows, a low wall, crumbling in places, partially encloses a small plot of graves 
Browden and Frog. Frog? Fog. Jesus. Yeah, yeah they're in the frog. Frogs everywhere. <laughs> no, they're, of course. They're frog. Oh, yeah. Can Why I did the I not expect gallows? Alright. Which route are you taking here? Okay, first of all, people, a graveyard is not marked on the map. Uh, I, I think we should check. probably investigate this before we get jumped by zombies behind us. May I make a perception check? Yep, make a perception check. Yes. That is a 14. Oh, come on. Why do I have a 9 one? Uh, what? 9? Now. Well, let me make mine. Wow. <laughs> and one sec. Barrett, you yeah, too. I got a 15. Yay. Pieter and uh, uh, Svetlana, you too. I forgot your name. <laughs> Finally, Alfred! You hear a voice. Question. You can identify it as Derek tell you that there is nothing moving here and none of the graves are disturbed. Okay. Well, let's, let's have a quick back. minute prayer for them. Go ahead. Do I roll for religion? Yes. Ah. 14. All right. You feel like there's not going to be any issues if you just cross. Best in so, peace. Which way are you going? Or oh, lost souls. Can, can I detect magic? <laughs> you could. Okay. I'm testing the See, magic. Uh, I'm also going to use one of my paladin <laughs> bucks. I'm going to use a divine sense. Okay. Now, tell me both of you what exactly that will tell you. As an action, you can detect good and evil until the end of your turn, or you can sense anything affected by a hollow spell, or another location of any celestial being undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. You can I use this five times at long rest. Okay. Give me one moment. Does it uh, take up a, a space slot? No. It's, I could use it five times per long rest. Oh. That's it. Oh, wow. Yeah, possible. mine does though. I'm like, yeah, mine does though. Don't you have a does? Don't you have a rich? Isn't that a ritual? Is mm -hmm. the magic a ritual? Uh, Only if you don't have it prepared. Yes. Mm -hmm. Casting time one action plus, plus ten minutes. Yep. It requires concentration up to ten minutes. Mm hmm. Give me one second here. I am reading something here. Okay. So I got to check something. Jumping. I am trying to determine whether or not this would actually pop up. So give me just a hot minute here. It is actually kind of vague now, now that I look at it. What if there's magic here? I don't have to take magic ready. Ah, here we go. Da, 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 da. Okay. So, Sanafia, you do not notice anything with your senses of good and evil, but. Uh oh. Valets, you detect something old and ancient in this graveyard. It's not a living being, it's an object. Oh. Are we really going to desecrate graves? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, Let me yeah. get my <laughs> shovel. Say, there's an immediate yes after this isn't there. <laughs> Let me get my shovel. Are we really Sam, going there? Mm -hmm. Sam's right. gonna just lower her head like she is. I mean, is All it right. just laying around or is it like it's part of the grave? Valis would be able to pinpoint which exact grave it's in. So... Oh. Go ahead and start digging. Wait, what does the grave say? Kayla, come digging. What does the grave say? It's just an empty mound. None of the graves are marked with names. Maybe we can ask the spirits first? He's nope, already, I'm already digging. digging. I'm God already digging. Right, Spirit, give me, please. Give me an athletics check real quick, Valis. Uh, first, can I say, uh, Santa's going Meanwhile, to be... Let me play Let again. Is that a free finisher? Yeah, I've been trying to say something again. <laughs> so she's uh, going to be ready on guard for anything that may all right. not happen. And I'm going to play again and try to uh, consult with the spirit and ask for forgiveness and tell him or her uh, to please. Uh, what's the word? Grave digging. Here we uh, go. Religion. Uh. Please have an understanding for what is happening and why. And please Roll be merciful. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> now 20, Talk let's go, cheap. baby. That is I, a wonderful role. I know, <laughs> I forget perception. All I need is you're talking to an empty grave. But, Valis, you find within this grave... A strange book. Uh oh. Oh. Would you like to pick it up? Is it cursed? Mm -hmm. Wait, how does it look like? What is it? How does it look like? It is. Give me a second here. I'll send you the image in Discord. I'm holding your hand, Varus, before you touch it, just in case. It's too late. Don't touch me. <laughs> too late. Please, Varus. He's already got me hand. God damn it. And I'm saying it again. God damn it. <laughs> What's your group called? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I will send you the photo here. Give me one sec. So I get I to am. Fix it. It's decided to be a bit of a prick. No, I don't want to open Photoshop. Go away. Got enough things running here. I don't need Photoshop running, of all things. <laughs> Why not? If you need a drawing very suddenly. <laughs> not for this. Oh boy. Alright. Save that. There we go. Look, I have a map prepared. Is it self-made? No, no. It's uh This remade. is the book you find. Uh, oh. Let's show it on stream. Oh. oh. That is what the book looks like. Would you like to open it? Uh, oh, wait, yeah. what if it's cursed? Uh, well, yellow. Opening I'm going it. to take a step back. As you open the book, you see some writing. Wow. Would you like me to read it out loud for you? army settled in the valley of Barovia and took power over the people in the name of a just god, but with none of a god's grace or justice. I called for my family, long unseated from their ancient thrones, and brought them here to settle in Castle Ravenloft. They came with a younger brother of mine, Sergei. He was handsome and youthful. 
I hated him for both. From the families of the valley, one spirit shone above all others, a rare beauty who was called perfection, joy, and tre treasure. Her, her name was Tatiana, and I longed for her to be mine. I loved her with all my heart. I loved her for her youth. I loved her for her joy. But she spurned me. Old One was my name to her. Elder and brother also. Her heart went to Sergei. They were betrothed. The date was set. With words she called me brother, but when I looked into her eyes, they reflected another name. Death. It was the death of the aged that she saw in me. She loved her youth and enjoyed it, but I had squandered mine. The death she saw in me turned her from me, and so I came to hate death. My death. My hate is strong. I would not be called death so soon. So I made a pact with death, a pact of blood. On the day of the wedding, I killed Sergei, my brother. My pact was sealed with his blood. I found Tatiana weeping in the garden east of the chapel. She fled from me. She would not let me explain and great anger welled within me. She had to understand the pact I made for her. I pursued her. Finally, in despair, she flung herself from the walls of Ravenloft and I watched everything I ever wanted fall from my grasp forever. It was a thousand feet through the mist. No trace of her was ever found. Not even I know her final fate. Arrows from the castle guards pierced me to my soul, but I did not die, nor did I live. I became undead forever. I have studied much since then. Vampire is my new name. I still lust for life and youth, and I curse the living that took them from me. Even the sun is against me. It is the sun and its light I fear the most, but little else can harm me now. Even a stake through my heart does not kill me, though it holds me from movement. But the sword, that cursed sword that Sergei brought, I must dispose of that awful tool. I fear and hate it as much as the sun. Oh? I have often hunted for Tatiana. I have even felt her within my grasp, but she escapes. She taunts me. She taunts me. What will it take for her to bend her love to me? I now reside far below Ravenloft. I live among the dead and sleep beneath the very stones of this hollow castle of despair. I saw seals shut the walls of the stairs that none may disturb me. At the very bottom, there is a signature. The dread lord and baron of Ravenloft and Barovia, Strahd. Be right back. Oh! What you have found is a short synopsis from Strahd's own point of view on how he came to be how he is. From being a general of Barovia, to conquering the valley and claiming it for his family, to killing his own brother and the one he loved, to becoming a vampire. You now have more info on how Straw became how he is. The God of Death, what was his name again? Oh my god. Or it's the not literal. I'm it's just not gonna slowly close the book. Oh. I'm gonna say the only person that knows any of this is Valis because he actually opened it up to read. Everybody else backed away. So, oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna close the book. And I'm like, down. What the hell is this? What did you find? Uh, I'm just gonna pass the book to Donna. I pass it to who? Jennifer. Okay. Hold the book, and I will wrap it. Is there any cloth nearby? You probably have some random cloth, considering you basically own a fucking merchant store. 
Yeah, I wrap it in a little bit of cloth and put it Wait, away oh, in a bag. What's inside? Is it an Economicon? Is it a grimoire? Uh, you are not beating these necromancer allegations, are you? I'm asking his sense magic or something. <laughs> or she. What is that? Me. Xanafiz looks at you. Can in you? A very, very disapproving look. Can you people take me finally serious and just tell me what this book is about? Did you not hear what he read? Was he reading out loud? Were you out reading out loud, Valis? No, I was silently reading. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, so wasn't. nobody but Valis knows what's in that book, and Xanafia is right. I'm just, it up. I'm just gonna look at Xanafia and like shake my head and just walk back to the curd. Obviously, <sighs> this looks to be something we should not read for right now. I will talk to Valis afterwards about this. Alright. Ready? Palmer, can my party is handicapping me? Help me. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, perhaps you should talk with them instead of me. I am talking with them, can't you hear me? <sighs> I am not going to read it. If you want the information, you need to talk to Valis in a more proper time. Mentioning a Necronomicon, or whatever you're wanting it, right, isn't helping the rumors you have about you. <laughs> Screw you and your lack of knowledge. Balos, why did you shake your head? Should I be worried? Also, hi, Zeus. We must, Hello, we Zeus, must find way. a place and time for this. <laughs> um, so, okay. for now, let's go. Are we in, like... We're I we will I will talk about it later, yo. Okay. Okay, good. Yes. Don't as long worry, as it doesn't tell us that we are going to die in ten seconds, okay. Roll for initiative. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was, that? Just... was that you taunting me? You telling <laughs> saying screw you to the DM for at making you roll initiative? Is that what you're no. doing? No. Don't do that. <laughs> no, no, never, no. All uh, right. Which path are you guys taking now? Uh, uh the you shortcut. You to take the short path, the shortcut. Yes. Shortcut? To the right, mm -hmm. so to say. Zana goes back to reading her book. <laughs> yeah, what are you reading, by the way? Oh, nice river. And I'll let you know once I'm done. I got to go through so many pages. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I feel you about that because of the book. <laughs> All right. Mm, boop, bitty, boop. And throw you all in here. Boop, 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 boop. And put your horses here. Eh, that is the wrong button. I don't need the code for the page. Thank you. There you are. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, what exactly do we see? You see... Do, 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 do. The canopy of mist and branches suddenly give way to black clouds boiling far above. There's a clearing here next to a river that winds to form a small lake several hundred feet across. Five colorful round tents, each ten feet in diameter, are pitched outside a ring of four barrel-topped wagons. A much larger tent stands near the shore of the lake, a sagging form lit with thin. Near this tent, eight horses drink from the river. The mournful strains of an accordion clash with the singing of several brightly clad figures around the bonfire. A footpath continues beyond this encampment, leading north between the river and the forest edge. Is 
Is the fire burning? Yes. What do you think? <laughs> That's why there's light coming from it. <laughs> Is the fight really? I mean, really? I'm sorry. <laughs> the fire is right there. No, no, it's not funny. It's an illusion. <laughs> Hi, you it's wish your your English. <laughs> it's all in your head. <laughs> I have to think harder to remember everything that is so sad. What do you want to do? You want to bypass this place or. Uh, I would like to. Maybe stop at a safer distance. This is. Um, a, there's no safer distance. I mean, anywhere else, and you're gonna be stuck. There's no, it. yeah. What if it's a bandit camp? <laughs> what if it's a bandit camp? I mean. We won't know until we find out now, do we? Will we? I'm glad you said that, you know. Uh huh. I knew it. Uh. <sighs> this is what we get for taking the short path. Maybe uh, we would have encountered can, werewolves you know in the forest. Forest. Who knew? You know what? I'm gonna take a shot real quick. I'm gonna take a shot real quick. <laughs> Balos out. <laughs> Tactical models incoming! Do hoot, do hoot, do hoot! Oh, you want to do that? Okay. No, no wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Did we um, really get close? That close? That's up to you. you. That's you why I asked if you wanted to stop or keep going. I would like um, to stop at a safer distance first. I feel like we Before they notice us. Going. What do you mean? Dead. There's no stupid difference. Listen. You're, you're on a carriage. You're making noise. I can't I mean, do anything here. They're we just wondering just if we can stop or keep going. Hey, man, we can just keep going, you know? <laughs> you can. I okay. feel like we should keep going. <laughs> Democracy people, do we stop or do we keep going? Well, there's a lot of them, so, uh... The, the people around the campfire, what do they look like? Da, 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 da. Hi! Question mark? <laughs> you see that a vast amount of them seem to be intoxicated, and they wear very colorful clothing. Oh my god, huh? I'm so happy. Wait a second. Remember what no, I said earlier? No. Whatever that is, the answer is no. We're gone. <laughs> This many seem to be drunk. Remember what happened at the tavern. Remember what I'm wearing again. No. In case we get attacked, let me put on the hat again. I said that Wait. earlier today. <laughs> of these people would probably be Xanafia. Because hmm? the necromancer probably wouldn't make a good impression. Nope. Most people don't like, uh, most... If you want me to hide... Mixed... Okay, you know what, people? Uh, someone take obviously the... Obviously, I don't want to go out. We'll someone take the leash. <laughs> if they attack us, mention there's a vampire laying in the bag. Okay? If there's a vampire in the back, I'm going to start chopping. <laughs> no, I'm talking about... <laughs> Wink, wink. Xana's gonna look at Eel and like, really? Mm -hmm. There was a most likely chance they might have saw you change, so... I, I did not change now, I changed back. Are you, aren't you even listening to me? I put on the head and the rope back there before we uh, left. I'm not sure, there's like, quite a few Maybe of them. Really? <laughs> <laughs> all, a lot of them are drunk and they're dressed colorfully. I don't think they're bandits. Um... But just in case, okay? <laughs> I mean, if necessary, hey, mention hey, me. Hey. Okay? <laughs> I'm hiding inside the carriage in between Pyotr's and Slivaka's legs, I guess. Santa's gonna I'm go gonna kick you off I the carriage right now. Hello. 
you see two of the brightly covered individuals come up and greet you quite warmly. Hello, friend! Would you like to come in and join the stories and the wine? Hmm. That would be interesting, but what are you guys doing around here? We are the Gypsy Vistani. We just travel about, have fun, but uh, we're kind of stuck here at the moment, considering, you know, points upward at all the black clouds and bats and things you can see. So we take what moments we can. Thing. Have you heard any stories around here? Oh, yes. Would you like to hear one about the uh, mighty wizard? Oh, really? A mighty wizard? Yes, yes. Uh, a mighty wizard came to this land over a year ago. I remember him like it was yesterday. He stood exactly where you're standing. A very charming man he was. He thought he could rally the people of Barovia against the Devil Strahd. He then stirred them with thoughts of revolt and bore them to the castle on mass. When the vampire appeared, the wizard's peasant army fled in terror, though. A few stood their ground and were never seen again. The wizard and the vampire cast spells at each other. It was a great clash. Their battle flew from the courtyards of Ravenloft to a precipice overlooking the falls. So the battle with my own eye. And he points to the eye patch he's got on. Thunder shook the mountainside and great rocks tumbled down upon the mountain. Yet by his magic he survived. Lightning from the heavens struck the wizard and again he struck his ground. But when the devil's strahd fell upon him, the wizard's magic couldn't save him. I saw him thrown a thousand feet to his death. I climbed down the river to search for the wizard's body to see if, you know, he had anything of value, but the uh, River Iblis had already spirited him away. Interesting. That must have been quite a sight to see. Oh yes. Quite the battle to see. I would like uh, for Piotr and the girl to check the surroundings. Perceptive, just in case. They're staying in the carriage. Exactly. Yeah, they're not doing anything besides staying in the carriage, staying here. Yeah, they're not doing anything. <laughs> Can't they look out or something? You're, or better, you're better off to look outside and see what's going on than they are. <laughs> but uh, the storyteller looks at both of you and says, "It, I don't remember the wizard's name, but I know he was really important. Maybe, and he sways a bit on his feet, kind of drunk, why don't you go talk to Madame Eva? She's a real smart old lady. She probably know. Where is this, Madame? And she... This person is going to point you to this. Tent right here. That's Madame Eva's tent right there. Okay, thank you. And he's going... Yep. Get off there. I don't need the marker no more. There we go. Alright, what you gonna do? I am going to... Zana is going to... Go and check. I'm surprised David isn't stealthy. Never mind. <laughs> So he already did his stealth check. I'm not even going to bother asking. <laughs> I know yeah. anytime there's a new map or anything, I'm going to see that stealth check in the side there and go, yep, another over 20. Oh, I said to stab Venom. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Derek rolled a 25. You're not seeing him. Oh. Of course he did. Hel She's going to go in. Hello? Did it say... Oop. Now, there we go. <laughs> a whoop, jump scare. <laughs> Wee, oh, he 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 he, welcome in. Ah, your face. Please don't do that. <laughs> Again. He said as jump you, scare. Uh, look in, as you look inside the uh, tent, 
you see that there's a magical flame casting a reddish glow all over the interior, revealing a low table covered in black velvet cloth. There's glints of light that flash from a crystal ball on the table as a hunched figure peers into its depths. As the crone speaks, her voice crackles like dry weeds. At last you have arrived! Cackling laughter bursts like mad lightning from her withered lips. Hello, Xenophia. Hello, Derrit. Hello, Valis. What the hell? It's nice to see that you found your way back to the material plane, child. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Hmm. I heard about the wizard and the vampire fight from... Give me a second. I don't know why, but fucking trying to do her voice is making me think I'm trying to do a shitty Yoda impression. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to, just do a regular normal voice, and if you mm. <laughs> try, there is not. Do only. Uh -huh. oh, fucking Christ. There is no try. Only do. Uh huh. All right. She's uh, going to look at you and produce some cards. Is she small and green? Maybe. <laughs> no. Did she, did she say material plane? Oh god, give me one sec. <sighs> I have a kitty biting my toes. Give me just oh. a second. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, nom, nom. Yummy faux fungus. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am actually missing You were meant for one full year Om nom nom <laughs> Self-sufficient kitties mm. <laughs> Alright, she's going to ask you If you want to pull some cards for your fortune She says it's Important things That you need to find How many cards? Five of them. Oh. Do all do only one of us or all? Only one three? of you. Five for each. Only one of you. Only one of them. Hmm. Dallas, do you want to? Um. Thor. If he's going to die, well, then you're just, super uh, if, you don't, if you don't want to, I can. I mean, do you want to? That's up to you. I'm not offering you a choice. And if Dare is around here, I don't know where he's at because he's stealthy. Can... Or, does that... or does she end up revealing him? Can you see Vardos even? Oh. Madam even well... knows that all of you are there. She's already called Dare, Jennifer, and Yeah, Valentine. Yeah, she called all of us. <laughs> yep. Or does Dare want to draw the cards? Father. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go get my drink and left it downstairs. Does Derek want to draw the cards or does Daddy suit? Are you afraid of some cards? Do I hear <laughs> no? Do I hear anything Not that wants really. to carry it? I'm just being mindful if you want to. Yes, Derek can <laughs> step in and start drawing cards if they're afraid of them. Okay. All right. I'm not afraid okay. of cards. I want uh, to know. I get. Okay, I do the card then. <laughs> All right. Which one of you is going to do the cards? All right, Val said he will. Oh. I will. All, All right. right. Your first card is a seven of coins, a thief. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> she looks at the card, then stares at you, Valis. It seems you've already found this one. And she points to the book that you found at the graveyard. That Zana has in her bag. Zana has it. Yep. She's staring straight at Valis and pointing at the book in Zana's hand. <laughs> in inventory. The book? Yes. You'll need that thing to let you know what exactly it is you should be looking for.
Uh, not <laughs> well, that has their <laughs> interest. Help me over here. Uh, I just out of curiosity, really. What's that? It's just out of curiosity. <laughs> Idle curiosity can do more than just harm. Impulse? <laughs> Alrighty. You're going to pull out your next card. Well. Okay. So pull out the next card. It is the Eight of Swords, the Dictator. Oh. 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 This will be a difficult one. The very icon of ravens themselves. In the hall of the great devil himself. Huh. There's two cards. You've already found the Tome of Strahd. Apparently, there's four other things you need. But now you have two of the cards. Go ahead and pull your next one. Gotta find them all. <laughs> you have pulled... The back on a carriage. <laughs> you have pulled the Four of Glyphs, the Shepherd. Ah, yes. The Brother's Blade. So hated, yet loved. Hidden away with family. Give me an intelligence check real quick, Phallus. Uh... Because you have the dots for this. Let's see if you can connect it. Hey. I don't know. Do I? I don't think so. Come on, Colin. Don't, I have a don't be handicapped by your character. <laughs> I mean, I can roll again to try to go higher, but... Give me that roll, then. You actually have advantage because you have all the tools you need for it. Oh. Seek, Fathers! Seek! Virtual assist. <laughs> oh, why will you look at that? <laughs> hey! Oh, let's go! That's you 20. realize she's talking about the sword that Sergei had that apparently Strahd hates and fears. Aww. But you have no idea what it means by buried with family. Would you like to pull your next card? Yes. You have pulled the King of Hearts, the ghost. Ah, this one, a great enemy against the devil, but dead for so long. But in this place, the dead do not lie peaceful. Oh. And one more card. Would you like to pull it? Yes, I will pull. You have pulled the nine of coins, the miser. Ah, the devil. So old, so ancient, yet even he feels the allure of riches, coin, and item and object alike. <gasps> to clarify for you out of character, the first card you pulled would have mm -hmm. let you know where to find the Tome of Strahd, which you've already found. The Eight of Swords is apparently for, like she said, the icon of ravens that's hidden in the castle somewhere. Mm -hmm. Sergei's sword is apparently hidden in a family crypt somewhere. Oh. An enemy of Strahd is apparently an undead. You didn't get that? And... Where you can always find Strahd is apparently a place where he hides his treasures. Okay. Underneath his kissin... Uh, pillow. Huh? 
By the way, did she mention Adamantine Treasure? No. Ah. I was going to you're pretend that here. my eyes suddenly <laughs> popped open. I'm like, you're not even no. here. No, retcons. You decided to stay with the cart. <laughs> yeah. You don't have none of that. <laughs> you have none of that. <laughs> I'm protecting the cards. With the two other. Alrighty. She has. She puts her cards away and stares at all three of you, and yes, even you, Derek, grins <laughs> and says, That's all I can tell you for now. That, incidentally, is all you need. You just need to find the right clues. And she's going to go back to gazing into her crystal ball. Would you like to uh, return to your carriage, join the revelry, or look around a little bit? Santa's going to go back to the uh, carriage. I am also going to go back to the carriage. <laughs> hmm. All right. What are you going to do, Derek? He's strong. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. I can't afford alcohol, so I don't drink it. Well, since they're all running back to the carriage. I know I can't really leave them alone for long, or they'll get themselves in trouble. Don't want to look around at all? None of you? Vanna's still too interested in the book. In book. <laughs> Fair enough. So, all did right. everyone return? Yep, Damn everyone's you, back okay. there. What happened? Necromancer. What? <laughs> I mean, Necromancer if you want to look around, around, you can. What Anything happened? Where did okay. you go? Go I'm look around. Nothing. Out of your yeah, costume. What it's are you doing, then, Derek? Uh, I'm interested in the book that uh, Valis found, so... I actually oh, have, have it. Xanathia to hand it to me so I can read it. No one is going so to tell asking, me anything. So you're asking Xana to give it to you? Yep. Alright, she hands over the book to... In cloth to, uh... Um, there. That's like... Points... Silently points... A silent finger towards eel and... A finger on her mouth. Yep. I don't even know what is happening. Nope. Exactly. All right. So the book has been hand passed along, so I can delete that off my uh, my inventory. Derek, <laughs> I mean, I are just you going in to handle. take a look in through the book then? Yeah. So you I already that. gave the expose earlier, but yeah. the book itself is a journal by Strahd, detailing how he was a great general who conquered the Valley of Barovia brought his family here and settled it as lord of the land but he and his brother did not get along and he loved the woman that loved his brother ultimately he made a pact with the dark forces made himself into a vampire killed his brother and drove his love to take her own life and he is now the dark ruler of barovia Essentially, it is a synopsis of how Strahd became a vampire and how he became what he is today. Yeah. Would you all <laughs> like to head on out then? Yeah. Are we not going to loot or stuff? Loot what? Everything? Or look around? No. Who are no. those Why? people? They are bandits. They steal the too. They are the they're Vistani, gypsies. they're gypsies. Ah, those people. Don't yes. make me sick a hunchback from a bell tower on you. <laughs> Can you knock him out, that that <laughs> Why? What did I do? I just asked. We're going. <laughs> We're going. Right. Let's go. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, You're going, going to then. follow the river to the base of the canyon, then. Can't mm -hmm. do anything here. At the far end of which is a great water fill that spills into the pool, billowing forth clouds of cold mist. You're Who's driving? You, you are. are. Okay. Who's driving? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna look at water. I'm gonna look at water. The Great Stone Bridge spans the canyon nearly 1,000 feet overhead. My horses are on auto drive boats. So you are at the bottom of the canyon right now. If you want to uh, go up, you're gonna have to go back. Okay, we have arrived at the bridge. Next destination, the gate. You are under the bridge. Oh, under the bridge? Yep, the, <laughs> the bridge is nearly 1,000 feet above you. Wait, let me check the map again. Wait, wasn't that something? God damn it. You literally... Xana's like... Xana <laughs> is going to look at eels like so shortcut huh <laughs> the map didn't so say anything if we would have asked donna which maybe he would have told us me god you damn it just... <laughs> <laughs> well we still hey, made it that way <laughs> anyway so you know it was a good bit uh you said the bridge is like Thousand above us, right? Yes, a thousand feet. Above. How strong is the river flowing? Uh, yeah, you guys that's literally at I the want... bottom of the waterfall. Uh, the waterfall. Um, yeah. Mm. One moment. I do remember that the book says something thousand what feet that? under or something. What? The book. <laughs> Oh, that's right. <laughs> you didn't know. Um. Explain. Wait, who else? Who else knows about the book? Who read it? Is it just me and Derek? Yeah, it's just you and Derek. Yeah. Everybody, give me a perception check, real quick. Hi. All right, I'll oh, it's 17, not My bad. My passive perception is 18. I got the 21. Ah, okay, what you look at that? Would 12 do? I don't think so. Hey, I know this map. With uh, your passive perception, you're immediately going to see these. Holy ah, shit, yeah. they are large. They are giant. Then. I have oh, 21. What does that do? Puppies, indeed. Puppies. Those are large puppies. <laughs> How large exactly? I, question, question. Can I run up to them and do animal, animal handling? I want to pat them. <laughs> You're going to automatically right. fail because Fuck. they're on. Everything within the valley is under Strahd's control. I'll say I'm dead. Nope. Seven. They don't seem like it. This is sweet. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Unless they're a werewolf, then probably. <sighs> hey, it's good to be last as a healer. Everybody's in with roles. They pop up on me. I guess. Uh, Piotr and... I mean, <laughs> they're staying in the cart. <laughs> yes, exactly. Stay in the cart. If necessary, uh, run away with the carriage. Ready? <laughs> I mean, you can move the carriers if you want. <laughs> do we fight or do we run away and shoot them while running? Oh, well, they're coming for you. So we don't they're have time. Wolf. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> well, one moment here. Combat position, ladies and gentlemen. Line. Yeah, I'll run in the dire walls. <laughs> People, would you like me to create more or less a defensive barrier? No. We really don't have time. It's an issue of. Yep. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a. <laughs> You're starting now. No reaction? Okay. Nope. <laughs> well, I guess oh. knack knack the game is on. Finally, my first battle. Your first? 
Yes, my first battle. My my first battle. I yes. forget, you didn't go with them. Yes, I was at the <laughs> church! <laughs> Remember the church? I do. I won't forget. Alright. So, is Derek's turn first. Okay. I'm not going to ask where he is. Can you know I can move the catch? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> If you guys want to set yourselves up, anything past IEL and Xanafia will be forbidden. So essentially, the IEL and Xanafia are the front line. Put yourselves amongst them how you like. So only me and they can move. How say, we want. Basically, you, only you two can move. I'm saying uh, this wait, line, over here? I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> I'm just saying this is the line you can't cross if you're moving your characters across. Yeah, you can't be too uh, too far. Where there's okay. you right here. <laughs> hey, they boop. Okay, so. I, I wonder if they like the fire. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Uh, I'm going to use one of my special little crossbow bolts. Uh, number one there. And what does your special crossbow bolt do? The uh, one with the draw poison. Ah. What's the uh, save DC they're going to do if you hit them? What you uh, do? 13. Constitution? Yep. Oh. What happens if uh, they fail and roll on that one? Uh, they're unconscious and poisoned. Uh, roll for damage if you'd like. Yeah. Okay. And since they were still... Let's click that, let's see. Oh. Nineteen. Alrighty. Number one is unconscious. Is that your turn? Yep. I'm right. moving up closer to them. <laughs> I say these things are as big as your horse, your draft horses. Uh huh. So, it is now Valis's turn. How far away are they? Every oh. square on here is about five feet. The closest one ah, is about twenty-five perfect. feet away. Ah, perfect. This is perfect. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cast tidal wave. Ooh. Uh, uh third level. And for me to hit is the thirty fourteen. So you pretty much have to make a duck day. Well, Which one's you aiming at? That? Uh, one or a four? I don't one know. And four. Yeah, because they're pretty much both together. So one is what is it? Disadvantage because they're unconscious. Mhm. Mm I would yeah. have left it be unconscious. So that's a six and a two. They both fail. Ah, oh, cool. That's amazing. Perfect. Yeah, 120 <laughs> Let them drown. 120 foot area? Yep. Range area is 120 foot. Let's see. Oh, it can be up to 30 feet long, up to 10 feet wide, and 10 feet tall. So. What the hell is that? So basically, the whole swath of a freaking. <laughs> 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 But you're just aiming it at one four, then. Yeah. All right. Is oh, there any so special awesome. effects since they failed? Uh, they're prone. It's not prone. Yeah. 
Boop. Oh, not that. Prone. And they're already unconscious, so... They're knocked away because they got damage, so... Yep. And then... All right. I'm gonna use one more cop death and that will be it. <laughs> Throw a dagger. Yeah, you already know it. You already know it. Then they Twitter. explode Roll in a funny. Jesus Christ. That's a hit. Every fucking time with these daggers, I swear. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was going four. at four. No, wait, one, actually. So, two damage to which one? One. Alrighty. Is that your turn? Yeah, that would be it. It is number two's turn. And... Hanaba. We should stay in the line. Yes. <laughs> you should. And... Whoop. That's gonna be a miss. And da, 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 it's now number four's turn. It's gonna get up. I got an idea. <laughs> Can and I write it? 20, 25. Probably not. It's under someone else's control. <laughs> Alright. And it's going to go for a bite on Valis with a 21. A move. Oh my god. All right. You got me. <laughs> ah, oh no. You Hold got on. me. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. What's that? Uh, I will use. I have protection. So it's disadvantage? So I can impose disadvantage on the attack roll. So I use my reaction to impose disadvantage. Oh! All right, it took the lower roll of a twenty then. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> well, <laughs> you tried. Hey! At the very least, I have to reroll the damage. So we'll see if it's a little better, which it is. So, and that is piercing damage, though. You take seven points of damage, Valis. And make me a strength uh, saving throw. Strength saving throw? Exactly. I remember the wolves. <laughs> I remember your vulnerabilities. <laughs> ah, yeah. You sure? Because I have Hell of Rebuke. Yeah, I can use it right now. <laughs> yep, you can use it. You're still going to be knock prone. Okay. Boop. Go ahead and oh, roll your health Whether they have to roll for a save? Uh, that's 30 saving throw. They rolled a 19. Ah, uh, that takes... That still take half damage, though. So they'll take yeah, about... Yeah, they take half. About 9 damage, then. Yeah. Oh my god, Valus. Now it makes sense you have a low strength left. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you always get knocked down. I don't down understand what you mean wolf. by this. <laughs> Number one is going to get up. And go for Xanafia. And it's got advantage because it's by its friends. Hmm. But it's gonna fuck up anyway, because it's really weak after being smacked about. <laughs> oh, because it loses the advantage because it's poisoned also. Yep. So, I forgot the about wave. the thing. Thank you for reminding me. But yeah, it misses. That's its turn. It is now Xenophia's turn. Okay, let's see what I have. Hmm. That probably would be a good idea to use yet. I will survive. <laughs> I will survive. <laughs> 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 okay. 
I'm not even thinking to the, use the look. and activate green flame blade. All right. Oh, wait, no, wait, no. Well, I, I still have to make the attack anyway because it's an attack thing. So I have to. Okay, question. I was like, how does that work? Green Do flame still... blade? Yes. It says that I make a strike, do a normal strike, but. Mm -hmm. Let me double check it here. Yeah. You brandish weapon using the spell casting and make a melee attack against it with against one creature within five feet of you. Make a melee attack, and if you tell me beforehand that you're going to use it, essentially, if you hit, it'll go off. If it does not hit, it does not. Okay, I'm going to make an attack on number one with my sword. <laughs> That is a miss. All right. So at the very least, you don't lose a spell slot because you didn't actually use it. As the green flame blade is a cantrip. Oh yeah. So it is. <laughs> so it is. Never mind. But yeah, you missed. What else are you gonna do? Oh. Uh, the. That is going I'm actually going to activate one point of my cloak. Compel duel. Okay. Against them. That's uh, I'm going to just use one of my <laughs> thing. <laughs> so, I use. Where is my cloak? So, my guardian child compelled door one charge. What uh, save do they have to make? Wisdom? They have to make. Well, let's see what is. Ah, my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, compelled door is a wisdom save 15. Alrighty. That's on which ones? It's in a 20 foot. So two, one, and four? Two, one, and four. <laughs> and what's the DC? 15. They have all failed. Good. What, what happens? Essentially, she's taunted them all. And you want you, you want the actual in game what she does? She brings up her shield and taps it with her uh, sword. You have a shield too? I'm a yeah. paladin. Of course I have. A shield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, I never noticed your shield. All right. It's right is there. The your, is that the end of your turn? Yes. All righty. It is now ba, 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 number five's turn. Oh, five, ten, fifteen. Since uh, you're the closest one I can get to. Here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> That's an eight. There's a reason why Darren doesn't go up front. <laughs> so you keep doing this to yourself, man. I'm gonna take advantage of it. So. <laughs> This ain't the trial and a, round. And I'ma take a, I'm a take I'ma take advantage of my hell if you do. <laughs> One and two. That's a hit. For fifteen damage. Fifteen? Yep. And Since I can use my hell if we do. <laughs> yep. They have to make a deck save. Yeah. yeah. Now I gotta count. What's the DC? Uh, 14. They rolled a 15. God damn it. So, 6 damage. And that will be its turn. It's now number 3's. Mm -hmm. 
Gonna go for Rivale since you can actually see him. And. I will suck your blood! That's a nat 20. Ach, come on! <laughs> no so competition 20. allowed here for strats. <laughs> nope. Two. Two. That's gonna double the damage. Hmm. That's uh, 23. What? <laughs> it's a crit. It's a crit. Holy <laughs> shit. And make me a strength saving throw. I'm just imagining Rivali seeing this giant wolf. Shit. Oh, no. And you are prone. Just this wolf latches onto him. A single pause of, oh shit, and just his body flopping around like a rag doll. <laughs> ah! Okay. Uh, roll 1d4 for damage, please. And because of my armor. Two. Do I count as being devoured? No. I mean, it's smashing on me. You're grappled. It's got like a hold of your arm. Is it not spiky? Very strong hold. It, it essentially just threw you to the ground. All right. That is it. It is now Rivali's turn. <laughs> God damn it. Ow. Uh, how much damage <laughs> did I take again? 23. 23. Eight. <laughs> 20. I just took a look at your HP. Jesus. Three. I know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, he might have a nice AC, but uh doesn't matter if they hit. <laughs> doesn't matter if they hit. They basically... always hit for some reason. My God, oh, what do you say? He's an armored sing? bug, basically. He's an armored bug. <laughs> no, really, he's not. Uh, he's armored and squid. He has a tougher, uh, tough outer layer, but a squid. I kid inside. you not. The last time I got attacked was by a little mosquito snail. Okay. Inside the uh, inside okay. the magic smithy. Yeah. Go ahead. In Van Delva. Okay. We know. We know. <laughs> I f I feel scared. Okay. What do I do? Um, I don't have anything to use as a reaction. Uh. Uh. I should have taken Warcaster. Uh, okay, uh, what are my options being grappled on the ground? You are just prone on the ground. You'll spend half your movement getting up. You're not actually grappled. Uh, okay. But that was a surprise. Um, <laughs> you basically okay. jumped on you, knocked you down, and then backed up. Yeah. Yep. Took a chunk of you. Wonderful. Uh, what does my class feature do again? Healing. On others. Okay. Damn it. Um, <laughs> do I have anything like offensive? I mean, I do have guiding bolts. I don't know. Should I cast spiritual weapon? I mean, it's killed the dragon. You can't go wrong with it. I, I mean, I you are right. You're another. <laughs> There's another entity to deal with. Although, hmm. three of them are not even focused. I mean, it is touching me, yes? Inappropriately. <laughs> yes. That's you're close enough uh, to touch it, yeah. Is number three damaged? Number three is not. Ah, uh, okay. Um, did it did not take any damage from the bite from it attack. Oh, wait, yeah. I think I would like to use a uh, call the, the dead. Wait, it is damage. It took damage from my spikes. Yeah, yeah I was just say I misput the damage onto two instead of three because they're right next to each other. Oh, perfect. Uh, then I guess that, is that good notice? Uh, ah, I have to calculate. Uh, six plus six is uh, 
12, 24, 8 plus 8, and when it's damaged, 22, aha! Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, that is my best option currently for damage wise. Uh, I would like to use to cast Toll the Dead on number 3. Alrighty. <laughs> I don't believe it's a two hit. Uh, it needs a wisdom saving throw of 16. Hmm. It only hmm. hits one creature. Yeah. Yes. But it Number needs three, to please. make a wisdom saving throw, roll it, and that's going to be a... Uh, what's the DC? 16. I mean, it must be it stupid. Failed. Of course it does. Uh, <laughs> okay, and since it's damaged, oh my god, the armor is actually working, Spikes. Uh, instead of taking, uh, I got the upgraded version, by the way. Uh, instead of doing 2d8 damage, it does uh, 2d12. 12. Yes. Yep. Uh, so I guess I have to do a custom roll for that. D12. Yeah. 2d2, 2d12, Roll yes. and it does. Are you kidding? Oh, what the fish! <laughs> Snake eyes! <laughs> wow! He did more damage with your spikes. No, his spikes did, did that damage. Not damage. That is so, the third not one in is a that row. Plus any damage from your spellcasting? <laughs> nope, it's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. Uh... Three not once in a row. <laughs> what are the chances? I mean, you heard it. <laughs> Three not once. I... What else shall you do on your turn? God, why? <laughs> mm-hmm. You hear a voice from above because it's funny. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> that was not God. Uh, well, I have a bonus action left. I should do yeah. something before I die. Um, yeah. Where is it? You should. Yes, and I will. Healing word is a bonus action. I know. No. Healing word. How much can I heal myself? Uh. Uh, Depending on which level you use it at. Eight or seven. Mm-hmm. It's uh. Sixteen. Wait. What? Well, if you go for the legacy Fifteen one, it's one d four plus spell casting modifier per spell level above. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, per spell level you cast it at. Ah! <gasps> Hello, Midnight Paprika. The new one, they actually. Hello, Raiders. Good tag. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. Oh my god, you joined is the perfect timing. Uh, I I'm believe currently... he has the new one at 2d4. Hello. Okay. I'm currently being crippled by number three. I got bit oh, yeah. by yeah, number three. You're was it not, not 20? And I'm now you're just down. <laughs> yes, and I'm now down to 10 health. Great. <laughs> it's, a, so... it's an incredible thing, is I rolled literally. Here, you can see it here. I rolled. Three, not once in a row. <laughs> Three, <laughs> not once. Yeah. Hi, no. yeah, hi, Middle Paprika. I'm dying here. <laughs> and I wear plate armor. <laughs> You're using the oh, Look at you. Word. You have army. For I Molly. don't. For yes. Molly, you are essentially a tin can of snacks. That is what you are. Yes. <laughs> What's the you hell? Open food. <laughs> I'm like an open food. Test modifier I'm sorry. First spell slot. Don't be sorry. I'm now figuring out what to do. I would like to heal myself. Uh, what did you say, uh, David? Uh, healing word is a bonus action. Yes, I yep. know. And what it does is it heals 2d4 plus your spell casting ability modifier. Yes, that and is 7. And additional 2d4 for each spell slot above 1. Uh, Don't forget, you have your domain bonus as well. Yeah. I write plus four for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my god, that is so much healing. Uh, I, wait, I, calculation. Uh, 2d4 on first level. 
uh, equals 8 plus 7 equals 15. Yes. Plus 4. You are. How much bonus do I do for my because of my domain? 2 Wait. plus the spell's level. 3. Okay. Discipline of life. Uh, plus two plus spell level. Yes, plus three. So that means uh, eighteen. Ah, you know what? Let me cast. Yeah, let me do that healing word on myself. Alrighty. Two threes? Really? I mean, okay. Not I mean, bad. you just held up almost half of what you talk. Yeah, okay, so... so um, 16 total, I believe, if you cast 13. it at level 1. 16. Uh, is it... Oh, right, yes. Uh, I casted it at level 1, yes. Uh, plus 3, so 16? Yep. You're not dying. Congrats. Hey, yippee. <laughs> I'm now Is back that the up end of your turn, then? to 26. Yes, I can't do anything else. So that was one spell right. strut. Hey, I'm a healer. Yippee. Uh, hello, back Midnight Papa. How is your game? Then. It Hi. is now Derek's turn. Okay, think, this think. is where I will switch to using the dagger. Since number three is right in front of me. Yep, it is not know you're there. Oh, so that's advantage. Oh, hold yep. on, let me. It's focused on the big old tin can of bacon flavored snacks. Uh, 12. Spiky cans. That is a miss. I could. Okay. Seven days to die. Let's see. Hello, Sinusha. Oh. You know what? I don't often use it, but let's let's give my bite and a try. Ready? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Have oh. show with her. Yeah. No. So no. I gotta remember that. So, so sweet sour, I get it. Seventeen. Okay. Hello, Arthur. That'll Arthur. hit. Oh, okay. first time shit up. Okay. Oh. Hi. Four damage. Sixteen. To three. Sixteen. And we all hear a wolf yelp. <laughs> Here on the first time it used <laughs> bite attack. Hear a fucking Yoshi sound. Noing. <laughs> Alright, is that the end of your turn then? Uh, yes. okay, you are now revealed since <laughs> you did that. And you literally took a chunk out of it, so that'll be your turn if there's nothing else then. So you still have got your movement if you'd like. Uh... No, I will actually just take a five foot step back. Uh, that's that's what I'll do. That way, I don't provoke the attack. Alrighty, Valis, it is now your turn. If you want to stand up, it'll take half your movement speed. Um, half movement speed with just fifteen feet. Yep. Uh, that's fine. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up. I'm going to try to stand up. <laughs> Boop. I'll let her, uh... Standing up isn't a problem. It doesn't... Nope. 
Not provoke a deck of opportunity. <laughs> nope. Um, let me see. Uh... Unless you were wrestling with a halfling that's right in I... the can I pass? Ah. Uh, can I pass by five and four? Uh, no. Four is concentrated on Zanafia, but five is still looking at you. Say so you did just get an item you could use. People imagine dungeons. I want it. I wanted to combine the uh, the fire tower poison and thunder wave, but I don't know. <laughs> For your fire teleport to be an item, so that'd be a bonus action. You're yeah. activating it. Yeah, pretty I much. I put that like, in the description. Um. Where are you teleporting to, Zav? <laughs> yes, and I wanted to use Thunder Wave, so I'm pretty much trying to get Thunder Wave in. Anywhere you can see, you can teleport to. Over here. Is that right there? Yeah. You don't want to hold it. Arrow? Uh, you're teleporting right over here? I kind of raised it because it's make my fucking shit lagging. Okay. Wait, so wait. So that's right. Valus up. here uh, can turn into a tiny fireball. Yep. And now, let's see here. Stick and guess what? You in there just to make because it he's our. To... Uh, Am I able to part. do thunder wave for this or? Yes, it will be your bonus action to teleport and your action to cast mm -hmm. a spell. So let me okay. do their deck saves real quick. What's your uh, spell save DC? Uh, Never no. mind, they're all below 10. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me 4d6 damage. Don't they have burning damage? It's 48. <laughs> it's 48. Yeah, it's 48. What about I fire have... damage from... A hellish rebuke last time. Wait, he even got hit? It's 20 feet, so 5, wow. 10, 15. Jesus. I thought it was 15. Oh, but okay. 20. <laughs> Same radius, half the damage. Hmm. Oh, you're doing Thunder Wave. I thought you were doing your teleport thing. No. Yeah, <laughs> but you have to roll 48 for that because when you teleport, you create a fiery thing. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why I rolled so, the deck for them earlier and they all three failed. So, what is the fire one again? The fire one is 4d6. Yeah, 4d6. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah, Thunder Wave is con save. Yep. This is a deck save, which they have failed. So, roll your 4d6 and then I'll do their con save against okay. your Thunder Wave. 13? Mm-hmm. Bad. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Deal up. GG Valos. And... 1, 2, 3, con <sighs> saves. What's the spell, DC? Uh, the spell DC for Thunder Wave? Yes. So, on successful save, the creature take a half a minute mm. as much That's damage what? as in place. Uh... Oh, wait. <laughs> Con 14, sorry. Con <laughs> 14, okay. Only one wait. cast. <laughs> so go ahead, your damage on that was 18. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Jesus. What Oop, the hell? There you go. He's a fireman. Did they all burn to death? He basically burned most of them, gave them burning damage, and then also thunder waved them. Mm hmm. Wow. I have made him a damage dealer. 
for good reason. Especially since one of your party members is gone. <laughs> Alright, I've lost a party member. <laughs> Again. With my holy water and what the stake! Calm down about the holy water, you can make more. But I need time. You're a holy water machine. You just need to go to the bathroom and you'll make more. But I, I need a hawa each time. Alright. Let's say you could have been making them as you're driving if you want someone else to take over. I'm not but... going to drive and make water. Don't don't water and drive, hello. <laughs> no drinking and driving? No. Alright. <laughs> I mean, no one that said is... to take the leash. Alright, so that is your turn then, Valis. Yeah. Alrighty. It's also, I need flasks. Turn. Yeah, that too. So, since they're compelled, they're going to go for an attack on you. They lose the advantage. And they miss. That's their turn. It is now Xanafia's turn. Make an attack. Let's see. That is 20. And I'm doing green flame bla uh, blade as well. That's a hit. All right. I'll roll out the damage from the weapon first. And three is close enough for the jump. That team for that one, for that. And here is green flame plate five, which is six. Also, Ooh. because I'm level three with, I think level three or something, level five or something. Hold on, I can't see. <laughs> At fifth level, the melee tick deals an extra 1d8 fire damage to the target on hit. All right. And, and the fire damage to the second creature increases to 1d8 plus spell casting ability modifier. So, you want me to roll for uh, the other one? Sure. That would be a one plus five, basically. So, let's see here. Six extra damage to who then? Uh, that would be the one I struck. Okay. And it'd be only about five on uh, three. All right, had to fix that there. There we go. It is now number three's turn. And it does not like being nommed on. What? I saw. Oh. Uh, Can I do uh, an opportunity yeah. attack? <laughs> yeah, can uh, Rivali take... Did, did you, what did you say, Rivali? Can I do an opportunity attack since it's moving away from you may. me? Okay, yes. what do I roll? Just the roll attack. a regular attack roll. Uh, with my mace. Yes. Nice, just claw for the win. Let's go. So, um, hit the C and a 16. A. let's go. Does it hit? That's a hit. Uh, it finally, it works. Finally. Okay, now the damage, please. Yep, go ahead, roll. Uh, a 7, okay. Could be better. Yeah, number three, please. Okay, oh, that's... and that's seven damage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just a fucking thunk. <laughs> but it's still going after the guy that just fucking nommed it. Can I cripple its leg? Hmm, that'd be a specific roll. Oh, okay. And that is a 14 that misses. Yeah. That is its turn. It is now Ravali's turn. Yeah. Hey, let's go. A little tougher to chew on. Just a little. Oh, hey, thank you for the follow war. Hey, uh, God, God, I got another follow war. Use this follower's power to get a kill. 
Yay! <laughs> Soul powered strike, let's go. So, number two is the closest to me. Yes, but it's also focused on me, though. Yep. But it's almost dead. Sure. Sure. Are you sure? I, yeah, I, yeah, are you sure about that? I mean, it, it is almost dead enough. You could also go up to three, too. You could uh, also go up to three, giving... Damn it, you need help. I'm not supposed to be the one standing in front of things. <laughs> Especially something the size of your horse. I mean, David can run away, followed by the wolf, and I follow the wolf like in Scooby Doo. Yeah, hey, what, you know, what is you this, know. Benny Hill? We three are just <laughs> running in a circle, and I have my mace. Right. <laughs> Which one are you going after? Ah, uh, you know what? Okay, fine. You uh, convince me. I got this one. I'm going go. to uh, go here. In <laughs> between Sweet and Xanafia. <laughs> okay. Uh, and attack number three with. Uh, is it with Toll the Dead again? Okay, what's it got to roll for a save? Uh, Wisdom 16, please. It has failed. Nice. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> not two not once, please. Thank you, six. Am I in heaven or something? I want to go back to hell. <laughs> no, it's I cast a toll the dead. You point <laughs> at one creature you can see within the range, and the sound of a Dolores bell fills the <laughs> air around it for a moment. He's hey, a I got the kill! Finally, my first kill in this campaign. Ravale is up on the board, finally. Ah. <laughs> yeah, the only one who. I turned it into dust. Be on the board. Or something like that. Turn to toe yeah. with, the, with the freaking. Oh. Alright, what else are you gonna do, Ravale? Um. Hmm. Does anyone need healing? You do. You do. <laughs> Valus does. I should probably, mm. yeah, I should probably use my bonus what? action and uh, consume one poultice. Wait, How much uh, healing is that again? Uh, I think I was it was poultice 28. Was yeah. it? Yep. Wait, uh, does it use an action or bonus action? Bonus. Hey. I think bonus poultices is to bonus. If we're following the same potion law. Mm-hmm. And doesn't potions take a bonus? Yes. So Okay, let me clarify. That uses bonus action. So yeah, uh one D eight healing preset is Go ahead and roll it. here. Ah, uh, three is all right. Uh, hey, one, two, three. Hey! Almost completely healed. Uh, and... Uh, let me get closer. And help Xanafia. So that would be it, then. That's your turn, then? Yes, I got a kill! Yay! It Thank is you, now Senor a Garrett's turn. Okay. In. Take a stab at that. A literal stab. Hmm. Yeah, be dab. Dab. Okay. dab. I don't think dab. I need to tell you that's a hit. Yep. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> this poor uh, wolf just looks at you and goes, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> Hello, mother uh, lover. <laughs> It gets a con save. Uh, what DC? 15. It has passed. Okay. Jesus. 36. It did. How would... Are you really sneaky? As you, as you touch it with your dagger, you just hear a ah, and it fades away into dust. Be right back. <laughs> that's, that's the joy of criticaling when you, with a sneak attack. 
This is why I love rogues, but yes. They do ah. the damage. Yep, there you go. <laughs> You're welcome. Yay. Yes, people, I got the soundboard. Wait, Victor. Oh, I gotta music. split this between four people now. Maybe. Survival crack. <laughs> okay, what do we find oh, and what can nice. we get? We just killed a you bunch of wolves. Uh, and I'm meat. How much? 250. 250, okay. With uh, a survival check, you'd easily be able to get, at least at that high, easily wow. able to get their claws, fangs, pelts, and meat. There it. Alright. Okay, mm. we should be now at 15,550. How much XP did we get? 250. 250, alright, thank you. I had to use the uh, <laughs> restroom. We should now be at 15,550, yes? Yeah. Okay. So, let me take another pultis. <laughs> Don't forget uh, your buddy there, Valus. Alright, Valus, mm -hmm. would you like a good berry? I'll take a poultice. <laughs> wow, wow, too many people talking at once. Hold on, what? <laughs> A4, exactly. One, two, three, four. And I'm fully healed. Nice. God, what's up? God, uh, what was that? Stop. He's giving you four poultices. They're oh, one okay. Uh Would you like a good berry? No. Okay. <laughs> it's totally not spiked. <laughs> what? Much, Why? Why would it spike? And Derek has vanished, as per usual. But what you are happen? now... Following the dirt road as it clings to the side of the mountain ends before an arching bridge of mold encrusted stone that spans a natural chasms. There's gargoyles cloaked in black moss perched on the corners of the bridge, their Ooh. frowns weather worn. On the mountainous side of the bridge, a waterfall spills into a misty pool nearly a thousand feet below. The Ooh. pool feeds a river that meanders into fog shrouded pines that blanket the valley. Uh, Valus, uh, how many poultices right. have you used? Uh, don't worry about it. No, 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 I have to refill and keep count. No, 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 it's okay. You sure? Yeah. Would you like some healing? No, I, I'm pretty much uh, like one way, one HP away from my full health, so no. Okay. Oh, basically it's just it's okay, it's okay, don't worry. Well, I'll be okay. fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I need all of it. <laughs> How is Kari doing? How is Kari Summer? She'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what? Fuck the driving. Uh, what? Uh, how? Somewhere. Also, uh, we somewhere? now have to turn left, and uh, it, uh, those should be the gates, by the way, people. We have arrived at our next destination. Ding dong. You are at the big old gates. They are swinging open for you as of oh. right now. Well, that... And they creep What's closed that? behind you. Okay, nothing suspicious or something on them Probably about them? Not. Probably not. Was there something suspicious about the bridge? Uh, I not feel like it's not going to be. I mean, we are just <laughs> driving continuously without taking a break to investigate or something. And I would have had... You are at another crossroads. Okay. Uh, people, would we like to check out the mill? You can actually see the mill. And you know it's there, considering you have the deed to it. And a map. Yes. Ooh, okay, we can. Can we check it out? <laughs> okay, everyone fine with that? Sanafia, David, Piotr... Silica. Yes? I don't mind. Just be on your guard. Top of the wall one time. It's yes. Top on the, the wall two times. It's no. Wow, this. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I mean, Piotr Ooh, and Silvaka right don't seem to have a... Oh. Uh, don't seem to have, like, yeah. an opinion. Like... 
Hello, oh. your soul? Old <laughs> bone grinder. Oh, well, does that... You know... You know what Dusty that means, guys. will look to be a decrepit windmill. Uh, windmill. Is that it? Is, is that our windmill? The old Spallet Road transitions here from being a winding path through the Balanok Mountains to a lazy trail that hugs the mountainsides that descends into the Fogville Valley. In the heart of the valley, mm. you see a walled town near the shores of the Great Mountain Lake. Its waters dark and still. That is Valaki and Lake Zarovich. A branch in the road leads west to the promontory, atop which is perched a dilapidated stone windmill, its warped wooden veins stripped bare, which lay now before you. This onion-domed edifice leans forward and to one side, as though trying to turn away from the stormy gray sky. You say gray brick walls and dirt-covered windows on the upper floors. A decrepit wooden platform encircles the windmill above a flimsy doorway leading to the building's interior. Perched on a wooden beam above the door is a raven. It hops about and squawks at you, seemingly agitated. Okay. Uh, can you check the papers, please, if that is our windmill? And can it is I take a look? Your windmill. This is. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't stop thinking about this on now. Oh no. <laughs> From I the would hill here, where the windmill is, you can see a ring of four squat megaliths at the forest edge. You see a lot of ravens are circling above them as well. I would like to take a look at the raven and the surroundings, please. Give me an insight check. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, 11. Not bad. I wanted to know if I'm able to 18. use detect magic. As you stare at the raven, you mm -hmm. sense that the raven is trying to warn you as if there's great danger here. It realizes that you seemingly get this message. It squawks one last final time and you see it fly off for the town in the valley below of Valaki. Wait, Ray. Uh, hmm. Okay, people. Uh, my nature instinct is tingling, and I got the feeling that the Raven was warning us, if not me. Uh -huh. Warning. I yes, a warning, a warning of something. I don't know what. God damn it! Well, I'm gonna know that no. warning. I'm going to uh, ignore that warning, and I am gonna go up, go walk up to the no, door. No, 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 no! <laughs> I'm holding him by his shoulder, and, and I am not. mentioning Domino. He he was able to talk with animals. Domino, which has been very useful. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, Domino, Domino would have been yes. Domino would have been very useful now because he was able to talk to. Me. Uh, hey, animals. yeah, yeah. I'm going to put my hand on, on your shoulder. Hey, listen, buddy. He's not here to stop me. I, I let go. That's not the point. I'm sorry, uh, don't, friend, hey, don't but me, my only uh, way of being stopped Venom. is gone. You must Venom. suffer. Uh, wait. Let's check the wait. surroundings first before we enter. May, I don't right, know okay. if the danger is inside or the danger is outside. Please. It is Am I able... Dark. Uh, God, tough question. Am I able to use a uh, detect magic while I just walk inside? You may. Okay. As you do so, you realize the ground floor has been converted into a makeshift kitchen, but the room is filthy. There's baskets and old dishware everywhere. You get the faint scent of evil magic from this place. Adding to this clutter and sense of wrong, is a peddler's cart, a chicken coop, a heavy wooden trunk, and a pretty wooden cabinet with flowers painted on its doors. In addition to the Fox. clucking of chickens, you hear toads croaking. The sweet smell of pastries blends horribly with the stench that's burning your nostrils. The awful orders mm. come from an open, upright barrel in the center of the room. Warmth issues from a brick oven against one wall, and a crumbling staircase ascends the wall across from it. You can hear shrieks and cackles from somewhere higher up that cause the old mill to shudder. 
Valus. You know what that means? Stop Valus, running up Valus, there. Valus, Whee! Valus, please. I beg of you. A raven, a raven warned us. That never happened before in any way. Please. Well, joke on you. I like the ra raven, Valus. so I'm going to know the warning. <laughs> if you die, I swear to God, I will not heal you. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the healer's meme. That I that he's going to kill the team if they, if they die again. God damn it. Malus, you Did see you encounter a, a haggy, a haggy, what the fuck? Haggard, heavy set old woman with a face as wrinkled as a boiled apple sweeping the floor, pushing around a few old bones the size of children's, and stirring up a cloud of white dust with their broom. It's a bitch. She wears a blood-stained, flower-caked apron, a long, sharp bodkin impales her bundled-up mound of gray hair. The dirt-caked windows allow very little light to enter this eight-foot-high chamber, most of which is taken up by a large millstone connected to a wooden gear shaft that rises to the ceiling in the center of the room. A stone staircase continues up towards the sound of loud cackling. Oh dearie, are you here for some pastries? Mmm, <sighs> not really, but I, I was curious what you're up to. I'm making my pastries for the children and folk in the village. If you're not here to buy anything, then be gone. But, uh, I have a question. May I watch you do the cake pastry? No. I am busy. Go away. How? You saw sure you don't want some company? You seem lonely. Who goes after Valos? Sisters! We have an uninvited guest! Ah, it's a raven! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm am not even fair. entering. Boop. Oh, Roll me initiative, God. Alex. Oh, so raven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm over here like I'm over here. Like, I'm like, well, Alex, <laughs> give me a second, please. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stare at, I'm gonna um, lean over to see what's behind, who is behind it. I'm like, hmm. Well, okay. Mm. All right. Who's if going that after what Valus? For... <laughs> I'm like, if that's what you asked for, I guess. God forbid me, I have to interfere. I can't just stay idle. I would like to you move do? inside with my weapon. Am side. I able to use, uh, um, am I able to do something before? Sure. Anything. <laughs> I'm gonna reach out to the lady and I'm gonna cast Dragon Bird. Oh. oh boy. <laughs> so, what do they have to roll then? Duck saving. One, two, three. What's the DC? 14. They have all failed. Good. <laughs> Our roll. <laughs> so that six damage. Mm hmm. Do we hear that? Yep. Are they now on fire? It depends. Yes. They are on fire. Well, now they are. So roll your 1d... F God damn it. Six now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we enter? Yeah. God damn it, Valo. Thank you, Raven, but I'm <laughs> sorry. You have, you have a opportunity to like walk in. <laughs> yep. I wasn't going to stop it. You were just listening to him. Oop. I know. 
four. For damage. Okay, what do I see? You see three horrid night hags. God damn it. So witches, so to say. Yep. I'm just barely peeking over the uh, little thing. <laughs> so spellcaster, so to say. Perhaps. With many verbal components, so to say. Perhaps. People, should I do it? Perhaps. Do, should I silence them all? You could. You could also end up silencing Valis, too. Say, each square is five feet, so... You know what? Hold the stairs. Wait. Uh, and let me take a read. Uh, do I roll initiative or how exactly? You get one action, then you roll initiative. Uh, how high up do the stairs go? The entire room goes up eight feet. Ah, perfect. Okay. I would like to cast... First of all, because I don't know how strong night hacks are, I would like to cause, cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. As my bonus action. And... Uh, first level... Wait, no, not first level, second level only. Uh, yes. How much does it nope. do? Ah, 1d8 on second, 1d8. Wait, what? Ah, yes. Wait, 1d8? Shouldn't it be 2d8 then? Uh, anyway, yes, uh, 1d8, second spell slot, and I would like to cast, uh, silence, around, wait, paint, 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 where is it, draw, around, uh, let's make it white, around, uh, more or less somewhere around, yeah, Valus not included. So you're no, essentially it's... centering the point out on the uh, railing out here. Uh, yes, I, wo I want to cover the night hacks, but not Valus. Okay. And everything else. Is that, I mean, I don't know. How much can I cover without covering Valus? You're good as you are. Okay. I would like to cover the maximum I can without uh, covering anyone else. Uh, so... What's, uh, do they have to make any saves? Uh, no, they are just silenced and cannot use verbal components now. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. Do I attack with my spiritual weapon now? Yeah, I made an action. I mean, it's, a, it's the same bonus action. That's about all I'm going to allow you to do. And... Okay. Derek Fair enough. Give me initiative. Initiative for me. Yep. If I can for one, I can get into combat. Five. Yep. And Zanafia, anything you going to do before you can enter? I, make... I just got a question. Can I make a bonus action to move over, not in, but overhead, and then make an action? So you're about halfway up. Mm, what's your movement speed? 30 feet? No, I'm using my ability. I'm using my uh, Shadakai ability. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm teleporting over here. <laughs> you definitely can. All right. And I would Perfect. like to use my... Uh, use Eldritch Blast. Uh, since, you know, he, he muffled my attack. 
I was going to use. <laughs> I'm going to attack Morga. Morga. Yeah, Morgothia. Morgothia. Yeah. Morgoth. Closest to Valis. Closest to Valis, yeah. With Eldritch Blast. There we go. First attack is a four. Is it 21? That is a hit. Second one is a 19. That's a hit. First damage goes out is six. Second one's damage is seven. So 13. Okay. And oh yeah, my initiative. Yep. Not funny. Let's be if I strike. Amen. <laughs> All right. That is everybody's stuff. If you actually want to move up now, Derek, you could, since they've moved away. Okay. Will I be able to fly over? Yes, you would. It is okay. completely dark in here. Yeah. And what about Ovalle, you're fine because you have your glowing mace. Okay, well, since it's a little too crowded for me over there, I'll just use the crossbow for now. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that'll miss. Must <laughs> have. Terrible AC. <laughs> I'm going to say you will have advantage because they do not see you. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, true. interesting. They are focused on the guy that just breathed fire on them. You know what? Don't forget about uh, fire damage, Valus. Come up behind this one to use the dagger. All right. Twenty-three. That's a hit. Okay, the con save is still DC fifteen. Have failed. Okay, so it's poisoned. And I need two D ten. Okay, so twenty points of damage. Not bad. Wow. Balos. Uh, how much? What is the area effect of your fire breath? Hmm? Was it 15 feet action. in front of him? Bonus action going away. Okay. Yep. Alrighty. Top of the order, then. It is Anathea. Uh, Don't forget the fire damage, Valus. Oh, yeah. That's Roll history. me your. Uh, say, you already rolled your d4, didn't you? Twenty-six. Yes, yes so. he did. Lovely. Let's see. I'm gonna use it. Or I forget. There. GG, Valos, by the way. I didn't know <laughs> you can do that. Yep, stop talking to me. Focus. <laughs> okay, okay. Stop talking to me. Focus. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yes, you can use most of my attacks. So I'm going to just say it hit from range for now. <laughs> so I'm going to go after more closest to Phallus with again with Eldritch Blast. Ready? It's a 25. A hit. And a 19. That's a hit. Which one were you aiming at? The closest to Valus, the... Morgantha? Morgantha, yeah. Okay, roll your damage. Hi, kitty. Ow. That is eight for the first one, and nine for the second one. Oh, so 17. 17 total? Yep. And, um... That would be... Hmm. 
All of my turn. Alrighty then. It is going to be Ophalia. She's still within the silence bubble. Let me double check. Let me double check. Not gonna lie, that uh, silence thing is fucking it up. I know. I was Good preparing job, for a wizard interception in Van Delver. I'm very happy and about it. And you're I very lucky Xenophia has long range <laughs> I came prepared. I'll use a swing at you then. Okay. And that's gonna be a miss. That's her turn. Fuck it. <laughs> Nothing else. And da, 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 da. it is Derek's turn. That's a miss. Yes. All right, Valus, don't use Thunder Wave uh, against it because it won't work inside the bubble. If you don't tell me to, if you say I don't tell me to use it, I'm going to use it. No, 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 it doesn't work. They are immune against thunder damage. Oh, wait, was it thunder? Yep. Yep. Anything yep. with noise. Oh, wait, what are That's you doing again? Said you completely muffled what I was going to do. Use that one. Teen damage. Wait, are you doing thunder or what damage again? Bardos? Thunder wave is going to be muted. Ah, okay. Yes, thunder Let damage. Me. Lightning was so, the other yeah. thing that was splitting the slime. Yes. Alrighty. Uh, Is that the end of your turn then, Derek? Just so you know, don't yeah. waste your spell slot. Alrighty. Da, 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 da. Sorry, it's enough here, but I can't just, just cast them uh, death on us or something. I am going to push you out and down the stairs at 12. <laughs> yeah. I'm helping you, Valus. That's yeah. going to be a miss with their swing. That's their turn. You'll just let him play as he is. So unthankful. <laughs> Ballas, Ravale, what is your dexterity? Uh, wait. Um, uh, 14. Plus 2. Select 16. Uh, my dexterity is 10. Uh, my initiative is a 5. That does something. Okay. So, Valis, you go first. Mm. But he had a four. Wait, no. Hmm? It's a custom uh, call. Yeah. I'm stupid. Oh, okay. Never mind. Valus, you go first. Sorry. I'm blind. Yep. My bad. May yeah, I three people now? had a <laughs> May I speak now? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I am kind of losing it here. <laughs> people keep talking. <laughs> Speak now, forever hold your peace, do it. <laughs> Bottles uh, out. Do not talk to me. <laughs> Leave me alone right now. <laughs> Alright, go Let ahead. Let me focus. Um, I want to use Fireball on... I don't, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't hear. I guess I use Fireball on Morgan. Okay. Fireball or Firebolt? Fucking hell. That's ah. not fucking hit. <laughs> eh, it's not gonna hit. Nope. 
No, it won't. <laughs> uh, it, goes, mm, it goes past them out the window, just. Mm, yeah. <laughs> She's probably cackling. Uh, and she can't even <laughs> curse because she's silenced. My window! Yeah, question. God, I have a question. Can I push E out down the stairs? You may. Both of you uh, make an athletics check. No, why? What do you think? If you keep talking to me, <laughs> you're gonna get really annoyed. I didn't talk to you now. I said it to everyone. Because funny. Mm. She can't curse. Silence. At my Don't mind me. So you <laughs> take off or something. <laughs> all right, all right, calm her down. Um, let me say, hold on. I'm stepping something. Hmm. No dagger. I was thinking about using Shadow Blade. <laughs> I was thinking about using Shadow Blade. <laughs> I'm trying to... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because I can use Shadow Blade, but... Oh. Hello, it's like there's no uh, DC on it, so I don't know. <laughs> you can try. I can try. Say, what does Shadow Blade say? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's so say you make the attack with advantage because you're in pitch darkness right now. Mm-hmm. You gonna try it? Yeah, I will try it. Right. Roll to hit. You have advantage. You're rolling good. Actually, I don't know how to roll to hit. <laughs> if you do do do. Go ahead, roll again. That'll be your advantage. I think if you right-click your dice, you should be able to set them for advantage or not. Oh! At least on your right. character pages. Yeah, you can, uh, you can do that. Lord. Oh! Yep, give know. me just one more roll on its own. We'll count that oh, as your advantage. Well. <laughs> Lord. That's what? how you do it. I was wondering how Ooh. Derek was doing this all the time. <laughs> and... I was wondering how it went. <laughs> That's going to be a hit. Roll for damage. 2d8 again. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Fourteen? Question mark? Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Hot up up. That to hurt. Anything else you want to do? Uh, um... Let's see. I don't know if I can use Misty Step. Uh, I don't. Yep. Mm. I think you probably use action and bonus action. So. Yeah. All you've got I... left is reaction. Yep. Yeah, I have reaction. Did you roll for fire damage already? No, I did not. <laughs> I <don't think. laughs> I'm not gonna remind you. I know. <laughs> I'm good. I'm not gonna remember. 
Uh, what is the for 1d6, right? For the fire? Yep. It's 1d6 now. Okay. And I think that, that would be the end of my turn, pretty much. Already? 1d6. I already did. It's 3. <laughs> Oh, it's not popping up on the game log. Yeah. Oh, it on my phone. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, it's still three. There it is. Okay. It's just really delayed. Okay. That is the end of Vallis's turn. It is now Bella's turn. What? Mm -hmm. So Bella. Yeah. Yeah. Da da da. Going for an attack. Plus seven against Ballas. That's a hit. And you are actually not vulnerable to slashing damage, so you only take 14 damage. Haha, <laughs> my time to shine. I use my reaction and use my feet to protect Valus with my shields. I use interception. This one I was about to use how if we build. What? <laughs> I say that Nothing. will actually make the attack miss you. So Wait. that's gonna be their turn then. You take no damage, Valis. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, what? Well. <laughs> wait, 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 yeah. why? Mm -hmm. He wanted to I get hit so he could do Hellish Rebuke, but eh. This? Uh, so. <laughs> I so I not want to deal with it. <laughs> somebody's got some masochistic tendencies, methinks. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just yeah. fucking Valis over by the enemies. Who hit me? If you don't, <laughs> if you don't want me to use my reaction, that's fine, I guess. No. But that Valis would be. Valis would probably have worked better as a tempest clerk. A what now? <laughs> a Tempest Clerk. They also like to get hit because they got a thing called they they got a something mm -hmm. similar to Hellish Rebuke, but it's either thunder or lightning damage they also do. Oh okay. Yep. That's so good. let's see. <laughs> it is now back to the top of the order then so, Xanafia. Do I use my feet or what is happening? You just we'll just use it. Yeah. Uh, so I, I have to roll you, for the damage. Did Eel get an attack or anything? No no no. No. I mean, I, yes. Yeah, but, Yale hasn't wait. gotten a turn. Uh, yeah, Yale oh, yeah. hasn't gotten a turn. Sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Also, my turn. turn. Yes. Uh, first, <laughs> that was my yes. mad. First, uh, the feet. Uh, interception. Uh, because I have to do something. I, I'm using my reaction before my turn, so to say, to re uh, to reduce the damage. Mm -hmm. uh, it must be. I have to roll a one d ten. Let me double check here for you. Plus my proficiency, which is three. And features. Let's see. Interception. When a creature you see hits another creature within five feet of you, an attack roll. Oh, you have the other one, not the disadvantaged one. No, yeah, I okay. have the disadvantage. I have interception. Okay, that's my bad. He reduces so, the damage. Or negates the damage. Okay, so or they negates. do. Ballas does get hit. Okay. One so second. One day. Ten. And let me check how much damage they A do. Seven plus three equals ten. So you, you take completely, oh, you completely one. negate the damage then. There. Completely? Wait, how yes. much does it does she do? She, she does two D eight. And if you properly do this you completely negate it. Oh, wow. Hey, let's go, Valus. You'll still technically get hit, Valus, so you can get your Hellish Rebuke off. Ah, uh, thank God. Thank fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so you get hit, but don't take no damage. Yep. That is weird wording uh, on yeah. it, but you are still being hit. He's just reducing the damage you take. Let's yeah. go. So technically, Rivale could make it so you never actually take damage and you can keep doing your Hellish Rebuke. But uh, first, do your 1d10, was it? Oh, okay, you did. Yep, you completely negated it. Then love that. You're welcome. That's 18 damage to Bella. 
finally it's my it's shield it's makes it's sense. It's a shield, <laughs> goddammit. You see, I can make sense. I'm getting claws in the neck. Give me a moment. Ow. <laughs> in the Hi. neck? Alright. This kitty is a rogue. Alright, now it is Rivali's actual turn. Yay, yes. my second turn! Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> are the walls made out of stone or hardened clay? That is an actually good question. Let me double check. I would like to know if I can use a uh, mint earth. It is made out of stone. Okay. I guess it's not necessary. Um, I would like to cast uh, something on the range. Range? What? No, something on the range. Oh, I <laughs> so you said range for a second, God. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I'm about to cast it there. I'm like, huh? <laughs> The cleric is pissed. Everyone run. Uh -huh. yeah. Not oh, yet, shit. not yet, but beware. Um, I since they are spellcasters, I suppose they have a high wisdom. I would like to go with Sacred Flame, please. And cast it on oh. Morgantha. What's their uh, check? A Dexterity 16. Teeny beep. They passed. Uh, what does oh. it mean? It means you do no damage. Ah, okay. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Uh, then I would like to use uh, my bonus action and uh, attack with my spiritual weapon. Bella something. Sunbane. Sunbane. Bella Sunbane. We'll just do this. XW, okay. Uh, wait, 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 where is it? Here. Uh, first. No, second level, yes. Uh, I roll to hit. It's a contact. Almost at 12, 18, or 28. I got a 10. That is a miss. God damn it. I guess everything is back and balance it again. Then I would like to uh, move my uh, maze between uh, Morganza and Bella. To, I guess, block off the stairs. Okay. That is my turn. Can my All magic right. weapon do an opportunity attack? Nobody's moved, so... But technically, is it possible or can only I as a person do it? Only you. It's ah, a okay. construct. It has to take orders. Okay. And it would have to happen on your turn, which wouldn't happen for an opportunity. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, my turn, my, uh, my action, my bonus action, and my reaction before my turn. All right, Xenophia. Deciding which one I'm gonna attack. <laughs> <laughs> huh. You know what? I'm gonna take a swing at Ophila with my weapon. Ophelia Wurmfigel. What a name. I'll say they have. Say, don't you have advantage because of poison, or is that just their attack and saving throws? That saving throws. They, they, they have this. They have disadvantage on attacking me. Yep. All right, go ahead. Uh, I will. That's eighteen. That's a hit. I'm gonna actually use Green Flame Blade, even though she's probably away, but I can still do some damage on. What is the range? Five feet? Five feet. There's a five feet space between her and Sunbane, so... Alright, then if it can, then then, then yes. <laughs> so, first, the damage on Aphila is nine. And then now, 
green flame blade is two on oh, yes, Ophelia. Eleven. So eleven on Ophelia. And for Bella? And for Bella, this is 1d8 plus my proficiency, which is seven total. Alrighty. Anything else? Hello, uh, Bella. Let's go party. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> no, that's it. Alrighty. Da, 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 da. It is now Ophelia's turn, and she's going to go for another smack at you. That, that's fucking missed. Okay. So that's Ophelia's turn. Derek, it's now your turn. Okay. I got this one. I'm going to try and get Bella with the dagger. Okay, con is still 15. Okay. Con save. Rolled the same number as before, so that's a fail. <laughs> okay, she's poisoned. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I'm surprised her eyes didn't pop out yet. She's crying blood at this point. Oh. Don't. Uh, did I. Which one? I was stabbing Bella, wasn't I? Yeah. With the dagger? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going after Fire again. <laughs> oh, no, I'm getting Bella with the dagger. Okay. Fire and the poison. Out. Poison. Wow. Uh, 19. Uh, 30 points of damage. To 30 her. points of damage to Bella? Yep. All right. And... Hey. I may as well just go after her with the short sword. Well, wrong one. <laughs> I like quick. the effort there, bud, but. <laughs> yep, that's a miss. I like the energy. <laughs> yeah. Just the name of the though. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that's the end of your turn then? Yep. And Morganta is going to go for another swing because she's stuck there. That is actually going to be a 21 to hit. I got your back, Varus. So go You're ahead taking and them both. Go ahead and roll your uh, damage reduction then, Rivali. I use my reaction. Action. <laughs> so 1 to 10. <laughs> I got you, Varus. A five this time plus three is five, six, seven, eight this time. So he completely indicates the damage he can. Let's go, Vados. So you can use your hellish rebuke, I'm guessing. No, I can't use my hellish rebuke anymore. <laughs> oh, right. Is it just. I used it. Uh, I used the uh, two of them on the wall. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. So. so uh, you don't take any damage. But roll for fire. Even better. Yep. Let's go, Valus. Hey. <laughs> Let's go, Shieldy. Let's go, Mace Window. was a little bit broken, I'm realizing. <laughs> <laughs> no. So who is fair and balanced? Morganza and Bella are burning. Yep. Hmm. So it is. Doo -doo -doo, that was. 26. Turn. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and roll that. Roll your 1d6 for their fire damage. But. Three. Not bad. Out of and it is now Valis's turn. 
Hey, let's go. Ah, yes. I'm gonna hold out my fireball in front of Bala, and if I can, piercing through Bala to off you. <laughs> okay. That is if I can. I hope she dies. <laughs> <laughs> if she falls out the window and runs away, that will be... That can do? That's a hit. Ah, perfect. That's gonna hit both of them, so... No! Ah, amazing. <laughs> um, that's... You're waiting at the load. That's your damage. Give me one sec here. You said piercing? Mm-hmm. He's going to pierce right through uh, Bella if he Bella. could. Yeah, if I could, that oh, is. Oh, Bella. For some reason, I understood that you are aiming to shoot Morganza out the window. That... Hmm? Huh? Technically, only one really can shoot her out of the window, but I do not. But she does not have the uh, invocation Say, to do you, such. Is that a meta magic? I believe so. Yeah. The other ones I'm seeing on your list is quickened and empowered. Hmm. Okay, that's Eight. fine then. If I can't. <laughs> Let me double check your sheet real quick, just to make sure on the PC. Oh God. Hello? PC? <laughs> it decided to reload everything. I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so whatever. Yeah, but, you have uh... quickened and empowered. Hmm, okay. So it won't cost you any sorcery points, but... Do -do -do. They'll just hit Bella then, and there'll be nine points of damage to her. Mm hmm. Alrighty. Anything else you'd like to do for your turn? Um. I'm gonna do Misty Step. Do... Regular Misty Step or your Fire Step? Fire. Why are you gonna do Fire? <laughs> because. Okay. I can't. <laughs> kind of tight oh, space here, but okay. <laughs> Where are you teleporting to? Uh, over here. Okay. Cool, we come very quiet for you. Five, ten, and no magic. And ten. So they all have to make saves for fire, including Derek and Xanafia. And Garrett, you have an advantage. And... So do I. Valis <laughs> <laughs> is going to glare at I have Nick no mercy. <laughs> Quite literally, the friendly fire. So roll your 4d6. Yay! I got advantage is. Nine. Xanafia, you fail. Yeah, I know. Derek, you succeed. Say, as a scout, don't you have something for deck saves uh, saving you from area of effects? Uh, not yet. As a rogue, though, I do have my uncanny dodge, which I can have the attack, uh, the damage against me. All right, so you succeed. Only save for half, and then have... I take half of that. So three damage to Derek. 15 damage to Xanafia. She gives a glare to <laughs> She gives a glare to Phallus, like... I'm a fucking idiot, e too. <laughs> I get evasion at next level. Okay. So that is going to be... One last thing. 
roll your d6 for burning damage. Why? 1d6. As a burning damage. Hmm. <laughs> Two. Two damage. Hmm. How merciful. <laughs> <laughs> the little the paladin is not so happy with the uh hey shadow kitty <laughs> you are hot now <laughs> all right that is out of character out of character out of character out of character i said shadow kitty out of character all right it is bella's turn <sighs> Well, it's uh, at your thought. And they're going to go for Valis. That's a fucking net one. Never mind. Bella is incompetent somehow. Rivoli, it's your turn. Hey, <laughs> let's go. Okay, connect, connect. Uh, let's go melee. I'm stepping four. And we are going to rombo combo uh, with blunt force uh, on Morganza. Okay. Roll the hit. Action. Hit dice. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That's a hit. Chick -chick. Oh, wait a second. Uh, where is it? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> uh, damage. It's yeah. a mace, not a freaking shotgun. I can reload it as well. The shell pops <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> I got it from an artifice of wits. <laughs> this is a gift from my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's called <Yes>. mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my <laughs> hell. <laughs> Alright, nine damage oh. to Morganta. From me, uh, I do with nature's glow bludgeoning only. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And my wonderful little friend here, where is it? Uh, an armed strike, spiritual weapon, here you are. Hit the C. At 12, hey, it's 20, let's go. Oh, Rombokop is actually working. Uh, she is surrounded, does it do anything? You'll get a little bit. Go ahead. Hit for damage. Is it? That's a six. A ten. Stop resisting! Okay. Punch, 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 punch. <laughs> Stop resisting. Just beating the shit out of them over spec, and over again. Spec, 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 <laughs> So, Rivali's how much? got fucking Morganta down on the ground, just fist in her face. Fucking hell. Stop resisting! <laughs> She got the finger You're spell! Alive, Cleric. What are you doing? She got the finger spell! Get her! <laughs> so, how much damage? Uh, 19 altogether. No. Is she dead? Give me one sec here. Is she dead? <laughs> I mean, you have to move I'm on quickly. Alive, Cleric. Are you dead yet? <laughs> You dead yet? <laughs> are you dead? Punch! Are you dead? Punch! Are you dead yet? Punch! Are you dead yet? Punch! <laughs> Speck! What if we like? What if we have to roll for session to like know how far away they death? Yes, technically be an insight. Same thing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Doom, burn. Okay. Let's say. Didn't your. Oh, there it is. So I had to double check your thing there. But they are fiends, so you are doing radiant damage. Ooh! Wait, did you just say they were fiends? Yes. Okay, I'll <laughs> keep that in mind. Did you just say they were fiends? Which means you have radiant damage on your uh, mace. Sword. I have yeah, magic yep. circle prepared. See. Do but we don't need it. Next time. Don't worry, I've been keeping track. 
And do, do, do. okay. So yeah, I do how much? Uh, we should note that probably. But uh, yeah, let me put it this way: I have been keeping track of your uh, long sword hitting them. They just got a lot of health. Okay. Uh, wait. I do I roll for one d six radiant Next damage? Next time I would hit the different. <laughs> <laughs> Do I roll for 1d6 radiant damage? Yep. Okay. Uh, next we should set fright. We should fight that down in the uh, weapons description. So yep. 1d6 radiant. I believe it got removed when I did the custom thing, yes. but I'll have to fix that. Three. So. <laughs> okay. All right. That is your turn then. Yes. Is she dead? Should be dead when she's dead, okay? She's Top too, too of the she... order now, does that appear? I'll take a swing at Ophelia. 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 Yeah. Roll the hit. Track my. She's still twitching. 16. That is a hit. Alright, I swing <laughs> and then I get to make a radiant swing. Yep. That is going to be nine, and then it. What is it? How would you like to murder them? I don't get it. Wait. That that was enough. Mm -hmm. Let me put it this way: you didn't ask if they were going to be taking radiant damage. I remembered and rolled for it, and they are very close to dead. So how would you like <laughs> to murder a falia? Straight <laughs> down the middle. Split in half cleanly. Very yeah. nice. Finally, Xanathia <laughs> is on the board. Yes. <laughs> I apologize for not saying that outright, but it, I did it and fixed it myself the first time and went, wait, this will be hilarious. <laughs> I did not know until... But that's fine. Now I'm going to start asking if that fiend or not. Yep. Like I said, I'm not going to point stuff out for you, but the only reason I'm pointing it out now because they're very close. So, uh, anything else you'd like uh, to do? That is... Technically, it is magic. You could surround Bella, maybe. I, I don't know. Oh, well, you know. Yeah, you know what? I go on to the uh, right here. All right. Dare it. It is now your turn. I mean, they are not paying taxes. All right. <laughs> or rent. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not my hit. problem. That's it. Uh, can't save. Okay. They have failed. Wow, double poison. How would you like to murder them? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, no, just. Oh, jeez, I guess this dagger goes right to the heart. Right to the heart, and you're to blame. You give up. I don't know the lyrics, but it sounds great. <laughs> up, and then a short sword. Ah, okay. 14. That's a hit. Hey, he's joining us, Macy! And three points. Okay. Anything else for you? Uh, 
No, that'll be it. Gonna be Morganta's turn. She still can't do any fucking spells. And she's surrounded. That is not going to hit anybody, so that's her turn. <laughs> Ballas, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> hey, I'm here. <laughs> she can't hear you. I got to reward my 1d6 there, huh? <laughs> yep. Yes. That would be a sick. <laughs> Lily, just a puff of dust on the fucking floor now. Congratulations. Jesus. Yeah, I didn't have to do anything. And that, that, is that oh, I didn't have to do anything. Is that battle? <laughs> that is battle. I dust myself off the fire. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a couple of poultices. <laughs> hey, GG, let's go. And <laughs> like, you be careful next time. I will say this right here now. You just turned what was supposed to be a very difficult battle into something trivial with that fucking silence. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I came prepared. Man, now, let, the fact. Let me divvy <laughs> up this fucking XP now. Now, what could have eventually happened? Death. Dragon. <laughs> like Death. dragon. You all get 2,175. Oh, 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 oh. Night hags have a very, very nice little thing called Coven. Uh -huh. Their challenge rating essentially doubles from it. Oh, okay. 2,000, how many? 2,175, I believe it was. Let me double check here. 2,575? 2,175. Yep. 2,175. 2, one. Okay, sorry. Yep. Uh, what does the cuff do exactly? The coven essentially gives them a whole extra spell sheet with multiple more slots up to 6th level. Holy! Ooh. <laughs> but oh. since you, since Revale cast silence, they couldn't do shit, and you guys were positioned in a way that they couldn't move. Hmm. Good job, Revale. <laughs> Thank you. So, you're welcome. I came prepared, eh? I may be a tin can of spikes, but I came prepared. It's the fact that I didn't take damage either. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ravale has I came prepared. more than proven that he is the man for the job. I spent yeah, my three months. I spent my three yeah. months quite efficiently. Derrick, you are able to find do, 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 three heart stones. This lustrous black gem allows a night hag to become ethereal while it is in her possession. However, the touch of a heartstone also cures any disease. Oh. You find three of those, one on each night hag. Are we now at 17,725 XP? Believe so. Okay, good. Oh my god. Phallus. Do not look at me. Do not talk to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 Phallus. Anyway. anyway uh, look at that. If I wouldn't have been prepared and cared, especially for you, uh, you may would have would died. Look at that. Anyway, I gotta go. <laughs> One moment. Let me roll for perception. Go ahead. You sneaky bastards. <laughs> Valis. Yes. As you uh, enter this room, you see a rotting wooden closet. There are three crates stacked on top of each other with small doors set into them. Next to the closet, a heap of discarded clothing, and there's a ladder that climbs into a wooden trap door in the nine-foot-high ceiling. There's a moldy bed with tattered canopy stands nearby. You can hear some crying coming from the bow, the uh, crates. <gasps> it's a girl. 
May I open? You may. Are you not going to tell okay. us? You see two children, a boy and a girl, crying inside the crates. Crumbs scattered about them as it seems the night hags were going to fatten them up. A what now? Huh? Make them fat and devour them. Like Hansel and Gretel. Yes. <laughs> I like the picture for the children. <laughs> they look so traumatized. Um, They're just staring. Menacingly. Okay. That I'm going to stare no. back at it. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to stare back at it like... Let me get closer. <laughs> oh. Uh, nah. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, Don't worry about it. Uh, Wait, what? I have a question. <laughs> I have a question. God, I have a question. I also have a question. <laughs> if your question is, what is that? Your answer is going to be, wait a fucking moment. Okay. Yeah. Parroquet. Can I look around the, like, where, where I am and look for something <laughs> useful? That is their actual names in the book. Don't look at me. Look to it I'm looking at you. Yes, I'm you may look you. around. With your perception check, you realize that there's bones in the old mill grindstone. I'm and they're far too small to be an adult's bones. Well, I figured as much. <laughs> Why did I immediately see Derek start creeping towards the fucking grindstone there? <laughs> like bones? Did um, I notice uh, Jennifer coming up? I don't know, would you? Uh, probably. I just can. So <laughs> I just can and I say it. <laughs> Make a reception check. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna slowly turn to Jennifer. I'm like, um. You so, uh, I'm just gonna point. <laughs> Xenophia, you see a crying little boy and a crying little girl. The boy looks to be about seven, the girl barely five. Xena Nilsan, hello you two. What's your names? Myrtle. Yeah, he's free. Ah, nice to meet you, Myrtle. Free. I am Xanathia. Zen. Zen. You can, you can uh, call me Xana. Okay. Oh, God. Why no. don't you, uh, both of you, come with me? Okay. Where are we going? We're going to go out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Just pa follow me. Parroquet, can I take the bones? Yeah. Sure. And can I point out that I still look like a vampire? I mean... We go to the first floor. There's with bones in my hands. I follow Xenophia. Oh, okay. I'm not going to spook them accidentally? Nope. They're not even looking. They are shell-shocked and traumatized. You may, you may oh. get into the uh, carriage if you want to. Okay. Uh, they look at you and say, Kid, we don't want to go home. Our parents gave us up. Oh well. Can you take us to Ismark and Arena? They're really nice. The matter, we could put, yes, we could do that. You can get into the carriage, but uh, be careful. They are yeah. in the carriage, and you hear cries of joy, considering Ismark and uh, do Arena. <laughs> yes. My did pace I keeps moving. Did I, and Arena are the very people you're having in the carriage. Did I yeah. overhear that? And Zana, Zana's going to say, can you watch over these two young ones while I go back out? Wait. They are more than happy to. Did I uh, overhear that? You. What reason did you kind of have to come down? Yeah, what reason do you have to follow <laughs> me? I was confused about the children and had questions. Yes, you would have overheard she, that. She uh, takes it. Get, get back in there. Get no, no, in wait, there. wait. Leave them or alone. You come inside, Beta. Did, someone get him. Did you? Someone get him right now. Did you? Phallus, what are you doing? 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what this ladder is. Is that enough? Yeah. Yes. Do the children know how they look like? Like, do they know Ismark and uh, the girl? They probably do know who they are. I'm sure Ismark and... The whole sure point of... of Valis, uh, you of... are at the peak of the windmill, a dome I'm chamber sure filled with old machinery. There's not around. much room to move around. There's light slips okay. into the attic through small holes in the These wall. Children and there's nothing but a lot. few old abandoned bird's nests. Understand that they have one moment. I understand none of that because <laughs> so much All right, there is. You're at the peak of the windmill. It's a dome chamber filled with old machinery. Not much room mm -hmm. to move around, and there's light slipping into this attic through small holes in the wall. You look around. There seems to be nothing but a few old abandoned bird nests. Can I check out the abandoned bird nest? Sure. Give me an investigation check. Derek, what are you doing? Oh, uh, has anybody actually searched this room yet? Not really. I guess that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Go ahead. 28. You see, Derek, you see about six pieces of cheap jewelry worth about 25 gold pieces each. Stuffed into the moldy straw mattress of the bed. Ballas. Besides some old raven feathers and some abandoned nests and some broken eggshells, you don't see anything of actual worth up here. Understood. Okay. Xnafia. Uh, the whole operation with Ismark and his sister... Uh, so the whole point of this all is just that they are undercover. You can't just I'm sure tell the tell children who look, they are, I or let them know who they are. With Ale, they yes. recognized Ismark and Irina, but they are they're in from disguise the from the village. Yes, and they I'm recognize sure each other. Of them would be able to tell them. What Move out of my way. <laughs> who said that? Exactly. Okay, so yeah. Mafia, uh, then if you are going towards the carriage, uh, make the children clear, make them clear, uh, that they have to pretend they don't know them. And tell that explicitly, know, carefully, the other two. Okay? We can't so have strats. Xana grabs, Xana grabs his uh, armor with no spikes. Like, look, I'm sure both of them have told the kids what's going on. Make sure. She Make sure without... Very, she gives him a very stern look that says, this is enough. We've don't, spoken enough. Don't look at me like that. Go there. Make sure. Sure that they did not she blow the cover. Him after that, she pushes him. After that, not dealing with him anymore, and walks out. Right. She gets in the carriage and she asks the two the two adults if they have told the children what's going on. Valos have told the men that they are moving away from Barovia towards Valaki or the Abbey. Uh... Ravale, they're kids that just essentially were about to be eaten by night hags. Yes, they can still be kids, but they don't have to know. You know what I mean. What are you going to do with them, then? Uh, do they have parents you somewhere? If anything, you'll have Zen Zenathia Zenathia's anger towards I mean, you. Where can we bring them? They'll go, probably go with them. Okay, Consider people, make sure they are hacks. not... What? They're program, my dude. <laughs> okay, I'm just being foreseeing. Okay, I would like to uh, loot this building. Oh my god. <laughs> There's nothing in I, there to loot. Everything is loot. There are the dream pastries. I mean, if you want to run up and eat. find out with the pastry, go ahead. I'm out of here. <laughs> yep. Do I have to roll perception or something? Yes. 
What do I see? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the fuck's going on down there? Synapsia sticks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. From what you can see, it's a very well-made pastry. It smells delicious. Huh. Okay, anything else here that is useful? Like garlic, for example? Oh my god. As far as you can tell, it smells like the most wonderful thing, and your mouth is actually watering. Nope, nope, I'm not going to. Is there anything else here? Give me... Give me... A wisdom saving throw. Uh, wisdom. It's most likely made out of children. Almost a 16. Mmm. <laughs> 10. You find yourself drifting and then almost having a pastry in your mouth before you drop it back down onto the rack. Nope, that's evil. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> that's evil. Nope. We have to destroy it now. Throw it into the volcano no where they have been smithed. I mean, that you have somebody that specializes in burning things down. Yeah, yeah, the fire. Hold on, let me use my fireball. I'll fire bring ball. them Hold to Vados. <laughs> can I? Don't can bring them in here and have him go in there. <laughs> no, 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 no. I start, I'll bring them I to Vados. Question. Ashley, I'm going to use it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, Vados, you are not even here. Go back outside. Go again, yes, play no. with the children. Nope. <laughs> he can do that, really. I'm Stop beta gaming. Have fun! If you don't come out! <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not going to count that just because there is somebody in there. But Rivale, if you want, you can get a hold of him. No. Uh -uh. Ouch. Uh, ah, ah! Well, he got. <laughs> Wrong button. Sorry. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are you going to do with that? Uh, so just pastries inside here? Yes, the pastries are calling your name. They you smell that? delicious. Oh my god, I have to change the voice again. <laughs> uh... The longer you stay in this building, the more chest you know. Okay, how about we don't have Darth Vader? How about we don't have Darth Vader being no. ambiguous as fuck about what it is he's putting in your mouth? Please? No, 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 no. Oh God! That was it. No. no, that was the pastries. I was voicing the pastries. No, 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 no. What the hell? No, 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 no. no, no. What is happening? <laughs> Let's not go with the voice of anything saying "put me in your mouth." <laughs> oh my God! Ha 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 ha. Okay, I'm taking the pastries into my pockets. <laughs> I would like to do really? another wisdom really? saving throw. This time at disadvantage. God damn it, why? <laughs> Loading up the fireball if you don't hurry the hell up right now. <laughs> Give... <laughs> you almost to... find yourself taking a bite. You can actually feel your teeth on the pastry before God. you take it out of your mouth. Damn it, no! I'm just going to put them down, I guess. I would like to check uh, the rest of the tower. That would be it. There's nothing else left. You do know you're in a party with a rogue who's probably already done this five times Ooh. before you even thought ah. about it. Yes. Yeah. His investigation and, and, check I counted for the entire tower. Dear God. Dear God. Can I see I anything like from up here? Oh my God. Ravale. Yes. Your party has to move on. But it's can I see gone. something around? Like in the surroundings? You do see the megaliths. You do see the giant megaliths. Giant what again? You do see the fire down below. <laughs> Say, if oh. he does make another firebolt thing, I'm going to have to count it. Uh, wait, what? No, here. Wait, where? Here. Yep. <laughs> I'm putting the pastries down. Valus. You already put them down? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, put them down. I yeah, pick yeah. them back <laughs> up and now put them down outside. Valus destroys them. another wisdom saving throw at disadvantage then. My god. 
Oi, vey. Do I have no self-control? And at 20, let's go. It's a 7. <laughs> <laughs> ah, are you... Okay, well, never mind. Anyway. Oh, boy, let me go bring this up. <sighs> Why do I have to suffer? Because, because you, you picked him up three what times. What do you and think? <laughs> every time you picked him up, you made a list of saving throws. You did this on your own. <laughs> you did this to yourself, my friend. You did this to yourself. <laughs> With a single bite, you fall into a hallucinogenic, dreamlike trance. You are now in a trance for... Du, 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 du. Eight hours. Oh my god. <laughs> Looks like we're doing a long rest here, guys. I mean, it's the good spot as any because he just fell flat on his face from a single bite of a pastry. <laughs> uh, that is Ben, those pastries. <laughs> Am I conscious? No, you Wait, are in a trap. Burn the pastries. Alright. Uh, I see dice rolling. Where it's going go? I'm burning the pastry. You know. <laughs> I'm like, let me burn the pastry. Hold on. Fucking I'm clear it's on a goddamn acid trip. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so I I pick up the pastry that Ravala left on the floor and I'm gonna throw it back in there. So <laughs> Don't burn our throw. building. That oh is crumbling. That's our building, Valus. Don't burn it down like the last tower in Van Delva. Nah, they're going to burn down. Valus? Ah, god damn it. No, 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 please, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, please, I beg of you. Valus, as you pick up the pastries to go and toss them, and your most wondrous aroma meets your nose, and you find yourself taking a bite of the pastry and falling into a trance. Thor. Damn it. <laughs> Seven hours. God damn the it. The pastries <laughs> are now laying on the floor. There will now hand the EL over to Xenophia and go drag Valus. <laughs> uh, that's just leave those things alone for now. Can I God see a vision? Damn it. I blame you. Wait, out is, there. Is, many visions. Is the barrel outside? No, give me one sec here. I'll mark these. All I'm asking for Dick. All Whatever I'm asking for Dick right now. Dick, I have one request. <laughs> I have one request. Knock me out right now. <laughs> you are You're knocked out. out. You are you unconscious. Are you are essentially oh, having. Okay. You are essentially having acid trip dreams. That's why they're called dream pastries. I'm going to light a torch and throw it at the pastries. Give me an attack roll. See if you actually hit them. Uh, Can't you just just light them on fire with a torch? You don't have to touch them. I mean, if she gets close, she's going to smell the aroma. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Hold your nose. (laughs) What do you think happened to (laughs) Varys? Poof. And poof. That batch of pastries is gone. Two fucking people didn't learn uh, and pick it up. Uh, <laughs> pick up the torch, toss it in the building. No, it's our building, god damn it. You're asleep. You're asleep. Hey, you're asleep. You don't even I know have, this. I have a whole I have a whole store of my own. <laughs> And it was you are lucky I'm not awake. Anyway. <laughs> it was crumbling you down anyway. Carriage. Well, you're not even aware of it anyway. <laughs> Anyways, let's pack these two up. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of stuck here, though. So, put them in the... I'm going to lift <laughs> Eel in and put him in nice and soft. Okay? And while I might be a lizard, even I wouldn't want to live in a place where that involved killing and grinding children. Yep, sure. all those bones you found were the bones of children ground into making flour for dream pastries. Just basically eat 
eight children. Yep. Ooh, yeah, we, we're a cannibal now. Damn it. <laughs> Chris, Hens- Chris Henson. Chris H- Henson. Henson will probably want to talk to you too. <laughs> yeah. Just, no. hey, Just I, Rebale, I understand that you were trying to remove them. But you should have learned after every time you picked them up that it was a ways of saving throw. Ballas, you knew he made a list of saving throw every time he touched them. No. Why do you think neither Derek nor Zan have to... <laughs> Hey, I was not aware what the person would do, to be fair. <laughs> that is fair, but still, you should have realized that they were fucked. You should have no. realized once he drawn. No! Violence is not that smart, okay? <laughs> is it, this is kind of long rest? Yep. Alright. Uh, oh my god. Actually, considering your intelligence is 13, you are smart. Nuh-uh. Now burning windmill. I would say intelligence he's decent. <laughs> An average intelligence is eight, is 8 to 9. Is it really? I thought it's... Yes. I thought it's the <laughs> average. The average base stat is eight to nine. There's your fire. The <laughs> All right, we're at a good enough point to stop, I believe. Oh, yeah. we didn't even arrive yet. No. <laughs> no, because someone wanted to, you know, eat pastries. <laughs> Not to looting around. To All right. Aisle. Oh boy, that is hilarious! I didn't think anyone would actually go to pick up the pastries, but it's fucking wonderful that he did. <laughs> oh. oh boy! Now you really can't, you know, blame. Uh, for, well, you can still technically because he did the same freaking thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but you cannot really give. Freaking uh, resident danger in my hassle since you know you're now the sleepy one. Hey, they both should have the sleep. Just I'm make them cuddle you. in the carriage together so they wake up like that. Yeah, you know what? That's yeah. what happens. <laughs> we will uh, remove, we will remove Yale's armor first. I'm gonna, oh, like, the moment yeah. I wake up, I'm gonna start uh, hanging myself over the window. <laughs> uh, who, which one are we gonna make Little Spoon? Uh, <laughs> don't. Let's make it eel. <laughs> Let's make eel the Little Spoon. <laughs> like, don't. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you guys for dropping by. I'm glad you had some fun. <laughs> yeah. I want to go on my bed, my beautiful bed. Yeah, um, went a little longer than usual, but I'm glad you enjoyed. Yee. Alrighty, I will see you all next session. I yep. wish you all the very best, and I hope you all have a wonderful time. I will have you all do me your downtime rolls ah, via shit. DM. <laughs> I have that same. I'll have you actually uh, DM those to me later because I actually have to go in make some okay, stuff right I'll, now. I'll I go ahead and about still to do say. it now, but I'll give it to you later. Yep, I will require those at a later time, and you know what it is you're rolling for, so I'm not going to bug you about it. So, until next time, I wish you all a very good night. Make sure you get some sleep, and I'll see you next time. Okay, all bye. Right. Bye. 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 I am mad about the building being burnt down again. Goodbye.